Hello! I believe now you can hear us. No, yes. you should be able to hear us. We weren't us. talking about how nervous we are or anything we like that. We are I was... as excited as no. we are nervous, uh, which nervous. is a lot. Um, <laughs> and give us just one moment. Um... I'm so scared. Okay. I'm going to throw up. Uh, are you guys ready? I don't know if yeah. I peeped or not, and you couldn't hear that <laughs> scream, but just know I screamed. I didn't even hear it. <laughs> you ever just scream so loud? <laughs> Hold on, let me have another. One. <clears throat> one minute. I got the special the party, straw out for this. The two players have liquid courage to help them out for tonight. Uh, they they are so nervous they might as well actually be getting married. That's how nervous they are. Uh, aren't we? Aren't Wait, you... I thought you were an officiant. Oh, Wait, you can't right, officiate yeah. a wedding? No. I told everyone me and May were getting married. What, <laughs> yeah. Is this supposed to be Dante and Nissa? <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing for everyone here. I was hoping for a twofer, actually. We it's are here to tell one. a story for those of you who might be new with us. Uh, these are two characters, Dante and Nissa, who have lived very long lives. They have been courageous heroes, uh, and they saved an entire realm of the Feywild known as Prismere, along with their friends. The two of them uh, were the, I believe the, uh, they were uh, two out of three survivors of the entire ordeal, uh, a mm. battle which lasted a really long time, uh, and it was touch and go for a little bit. Uh, but they made it through, and the two of them, as a reward for surviving, uh, just a refresher, these are our characters we're talking about, as a reward for surviving uh, <laughs> and saving Prismere and saving the Archfey of Vilna, they were given a single wish. And the wish they decide to make was to make it so that this entire ordeal never happened. And so, after making that wish, they were both brought back to their childhood, where they have, for the most part, no one has any memories of the life they lived, except for Nyssa, who managed her wisdom saving throw and was able to remember the events of the campaign. As children, Dante and Nyssa were rivals, uh, part of opposing childlike gangs that roamed through the forest around Red Larch, the Toadies and the Croakers. But with her memories of this other life she lived, Nyssa reached out and connected with Dante and their story began anew. The two of them grew up in the town of Red Larch. They lived very different lives. Their friends lived very different lives, no longer affected by the events of the Witchlight Carnival or the hags of the land of Prismere, the Hourglass Coven, which they had defeated. So now they're free to live their lives. Dante and Nyssa grow up. They continue their relationship with each other. Things blossom. One day, Dante proposes. And a strange thing, on the day that Dante proposes, he kneels down, and as he asks Nyssa if she would marry him, suddenly a streak of Dante's hair goes shock white. Oh. oh. <laughs> Till death do we part, right? <laughs> no, not then either. Oh, okay. The two of you end up holding a wedding in the town of Red Larch. Uh, give me just one moment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Holding a wedding in the town of Red Larch. It is a wonderful festivity of uh, people coming uh, from all over town. Pretty much everyone who is someone in Red Larch attends, including your friends, Morin, 
Dove. Babies. Court. Nissa, your father attends, of course. Oh, Mr. Dante, your friend Alistair attends. Oh, yay. Best man. That's all, that's all I got. <laughs> I don't have any fucking family. You do now. Oh. It is a wonderful occasion. The two of you are ready to begin this new chapter of your life. How are you both feeling on the day of your wedding? What time of day is this? Uh, this is about noon. The wedding is going to take place at uh, around two o'clock. And this is sort of like the reception. People are still getting ready. You guys are each in separate tents. With oh yeah, that's right. Your we various don't see each other. Uh, uh, best man and and the bridesmaids around right. you both. Imagine can Warren in a bridesmaid can, dress. Can I claim court? Um, please, thank you. Court yeah. um, is Sky, the, say yes. Court yeah. is the ring bearer. Oh my God! <laughs> yes, court. <laughs> yes. Okay. Good. How are you, you both can, feeling? You can have Micah. Um. <laughs> He has a drink in his tent, personally, already. Um, Micah does nervous. not attend the wedding. Oh, that's kind of... Okay. Oh, wait. I, oh, um, let me it's take a little sip of my drink. upsetting okay. for you both, but there's just so much happiness at this wedding. It's hard to be upset for any about anything for long. Mm-hmm. That's so fair. I'm not even thinking about it anymore. <laughs> he, as throwing he takes up. another drink. <laughs> um, um, I'm I'm practicing vows in my tent. That's what I'm doing. Go on, my love. Uh, Nissa is nervous. <laughs> She's mm -hmm. probably just staring in the mirror, trying to fix every little tiny thing. She's definitely been not that like. It's not like Dante's been proposing and she's been saying no, but like it's come up and she's kind of been pushing it off for a little while because she's kind of been afraid. Obviously, she has lots of trauma and lots of nightmares and stuff like that. And, you know, Dante's kind of too good to be true. And then he proposed. He finally did it. And then he got the white streaks in his hair just like he had exclusively in their other life where... um a lot of bad things happen, so that definitely threw her off a lot, but I think it's just, it's all, it's excited jitters. She's very, very, very happy. There's no second, like, guessing in her mind, but she is nervous. Both of you make wisdom saving throws, <laughs> as this is a, this is such an important moment in people's lives. Fear is bound to creep in. <gasps> I rolled a three, which is a five. <laughs> oh, a wisdom save. But um, remember my last wisdom saving throw? <laughs> it was great. Don't. No. Um, Nissa, I'm going to say you have advantage on your wisdom save because this is the second time you're getting married. Oh, that must be nice. I rolled a six. <laughs> no. I rolled a six and I'm fucking nervous. I I'm got taking... a little bit better. This is probably a more accurate number. She got a 12. <laughs> Sorry, Dante. Okay. He's so nervous. Oh my God, he's so nervous. Dante, you, you're regretting me. not having this wedding in like a coastal town, preferably <laughs> indoors. Uh, because it is, it, like, you just feel like it's so hot, and because it must be hot, because you are sweating so much right now, and and you don't want you don't want to stain the 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 beautiful outfit you're wearing. You, you don't want to. Oh, oh what, what if she just sees you sweating at the end of at the you know at, at the end of the altar? And Dude, she my just hair's walks gonna away. frizz. <sighs> no, she's gonna see me. I'm gonna look hideous. She's gonna hate it. <laughs> Dante, I'm you throw up. walk out to the altar. What well, can I fix calm. my hair first? Yeah, you fix your hair. You try your best, right? I want to look cute. Yeah, I know. You fix your hair. You you you, you do what you can to make it good, but you gotta my, get out there. My flower's crooked. You go, you go out, 
And as you do, I need you to make a deck saving throw at disadvantage. Wait, it's actually okay. So hear me out, everyone. Um, if I trip, it's charming and quirky and cute, <laughs> and I'm a keeper. If I don't trip, I'm just a confident man and I'm still a keeper. Okay. Deck saving throw? Yes. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, I'm not a rogue anymore. <laughs> okay, I'm just. What'd you get? <laughs> Nine. You trip, Nine. falling face first. The crowd, oh, like you hear a gasp from them, and then Please you hear me. someone walk up to you. Hey, hey, buddy, you all right? You you dropped this. And looking up at I you, think... or looking down at you, is the person who tripped you, Courtney. <laughs> and he is offering you the ring. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill him. Or kill them. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe this. They offer Is you the ring, uh, as they are the Did ring bearer, really as happened? I said. That really happened. Did that really just happen? Did Nissa that didn't just see it? <laughs> that oh my was god, how did I get for by Sky, by the way? Hey, Sky, I know where you fucking live, dude. Yeah, and I'll give her the keys. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> Also, um, this is for legal reasons, a joke. Okay, continue. <laughs> they give you the ring, smiling at you, uh, chuckling to themselves that they got you one last time. <laughs> what do you mean? It was for the first time. <laughs> uh, no, they've gotten you many, many times uh, in the years since you... <laughs> if you remember, you tripped the first time, uh, the first day uh... that Nissa kissed you on the cheek in the forest. Oh, wait, that's so fitting. Yeah. You know, and maybe been, that's a good sign. It's just been a constant battle between you and Court on this. You know, one day, Court, your ass is grass. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. You get the Fair ring. Man. Oh, I got, I got the rings, baby. Nissa, you walk out. You didn't say anything. My dad walks me out, right? Your dad walks <gasps> you out, that is correct. Oh my god, Mr. Heartspring! The two of you are brought to the edge of the aisle. A priest of Lathander uh, officiates the wedding. And the two of you, that's sort of like the local priest of this neighborhood. Um, someone you've known pretty much your whole life. The two of you are, uh, you hear the sermon, you are there smiling, taking in the sight of both of you, looking ready and happy. Nissa didn't run away because you were sweating. Dante didn't get cold feet and not show up. I am here. <laughs> and now is the time for each of you to recite your vows. Uh-oh. Okay. I believe oh. the groom goes first. I believe you're correct. You're so right! The groom does go first! In tradition. Okay. Fuck. Okay. Um. Um. I am reading off a screen because I didn't memorize these. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nessa. Some people spend their lives searching for their other half, for their heart, their soulmate. I was lucky enough to find mine at a young age in you. Surely it's the work of the gods that we found each other so young. And despite all this, I feel as if we've been together for lifetimes. Our hearts and minds are so in tune, I often find myself wondering where you start and I begin some days, honestly. Uh, Nissa, you are my guide, my heart, my reason. Everything I do is to be a man worthy of you and I'm honored 
to be able to continue to do so for the rest of our lives. And he, he grasps, he, he was already grasping her hands, but it, his hands are shaking a bit. She can feel that. And his eyes Hers are, are too. <laughs> his eyes are definitely starting to water. Nissa, I swear to love and protect you, to be your guide, your safety, your support, your partner in all things through good times and bad, and to be the best version of myself for you, for in all the world, there is no heart for me like yours, and in all the world, there is no love for you like mine. I swear this, and I love you. And, and, and he just, he's, his hands are still quaking. He's just, he's maintaining eye contact the whole time, but it is very hard. His, his eyes are watering still, but he hasn't let a tear fall yet. Well, are you ready, dude? <laughs> yeah, I was holding it together so hard for that. I don't know how I didn't cry, y'all. Okay, but I'm ready now. Bring me the tears. Make me cry. Nessa. I'll give his hands a tight squeeze before she starts. <laughs> Dante, <laughs> I love you so much. And I have loved you in more than one lifetime. Of that, I have no doubt. There are a lot of things I don't doubt anymore because of you. Your strength, your confidence, and your kindness have changed me. You call me an inspiring leader, but I've never been so certain I would follow someone. I will follow you on whatever adventure to whatever plane of existence. I will follow you across time until we're wrinkled and gray and I'm upset that you still look as good as you do and then into the next life too. <laughs> you tease me for taking promises so seriously, but I have some to make and they're really serious, okay? I promise you can never lose my love. No one can take it from you. I won't let them. Someone once told me to not just be sorry for your mistakes, but to promise to be better. I promise to get better every day for you. I promise to do everything I can to protect and cherish you. <sighs> Some days I'm not convinced that you're not a dream I made up. I'm sorry I made you wait so long. I believe in you, I promise. And I'm so happy to be your wife for all the rest of our days. She's like death gripping. <laughs> His hands at this point. <laughs> As you finish, Nissa, Court stands up and they yell, Kiss her already! And Wrong. the priest confirms, You may now kiss the bride. Dude, I'm going in! <laughs> Fucking getting that kiss! <laughs> Grab her by the waist, dip her. Ooh, a dip. I'll do a dip. Look, I have to make up for the things she didn't see earlier. <laughs> I'll dip her a kiss. From small children to the adults they now are, your guys' wedding is officiated and the two of you are happily married. Dancing begins, celebrations begin. Uh, as you dance, Nissa, you notice, uh, you notice in the crowd is a small gentleman who looks like they might be uh, a type of gnome, Kill but then you recognize me. it to be none other than spring. I want to kill myself. Lo it positive parentheses <laughs> positive in a good way like can i like i just catch a glimpse of them or can i like you catch a glimpse they smile hold up a glass to you and they go off with one of the Spring. bridesmaids uh, yeah, they do. possibly, no, the possibly it, brother. one of the best men um and go get him yeah, buster <laughs> <laughs> Go get him, Spring! Dude, I Alistair always knew Alistair might actually be a good fit for that. <laughs> Honestly, I always knew. <laughs> always knew he was a little king. <laughs> and as you guys are celebrating, 
Die. Nissa, your good friend Morin decides to have a toast. They stand up, get everyone's attention. Tracy Wright does. And they bring over to you a small potted plant. It is like a small twig. Um, and the twig you see, as you look at the twig, the twig looks up at you. And it has like a small face on the twig. And it sort of just smiles like a small infant. First baby. Dude, this is our first baby. What do we name it? Dante and Nyssa. Yeah. I cannot believe we are finally here. We're at the part of our tale that brings you two happily together at last. The rose that was once so small and full of thorns has fully blossomed into a beautiful rose. Now the two of you get to enter into the next chapter of your lives together. I knew from the first little kiss that you, Nyssa, gave to Dante when we were little kids in the forest. At first, it was more out of spite, a way to get back at the toadies and make him hate you even more. But I knew there was something more. The stem of the rose, pricked with thorns that only had a small bud. And now we see the rose in full bloom. No matter what, Nyssa, we will always remain best friends. All the years you confided in me for wisdom, you are the, truly the wisest of us all. Dante, I know that you will care for her and keep her safe always. Or maybe it will be she that keeps you safe. <laughs> Wishing you love for lifetimes beyond the eldest of our arch druids. I cannot wait to see you both again soon. Oh my God. I hope my gift brings a smile to both of your faces. Congratulations. Brother. Oh, here, here. <laughs> you guys toast. I'm crying. The evening is full of joy and happiness that the two of you will undoubtedly remember for the rest of your lives. But all evenings do come to an end. <laughs> at the end of yeah. our session tonight. Thank you. Yeah, they do. That's it, everyone. Good night. <laughs> that was <As> it. <laughs> do most chapters of our lives. The two of you, after getting married, decide in short time to relocate. A change of scenery to match the change in the life that you two live together. You move to the City of Splendors, Waterdeep. Hey, Waterdeep. A city of opportunity and beautiful sights where magic and people of all sorts are welcomed across the Sword Coast. It's been five years since that faithful day, that wonderful wedding. And we see that the two of you, your life has started to grow and develop roots, much like the potted plant that Morn gave you. Momo, you just cut out. You, I was waiting for you to. Voice is so high pitched in reaction. S sorry, sorry. Did I did I peek or anything? Yep. Yeah, you just cut out. That's all. Oh, I said. Oh Dante, my god. Dante they're level. fucking. Uh, oh my god. They're fucking house. Uh, look how cute our house is. Oh my god. Sorry, I was getting casual. Um. Oh my god. This is totally their house. Wait. Ha is the tree the plant? The, the tree, tree is the plant. Is the plant. gave us. Yes. Oh my god, Hannah, this is great. It's so cute. This is exactly what I was thinking. Look at our little garden over there. Our grown up baby. 
I asked for lots of plants because chat, Dante and Nissa would keep a huge garden. They both, they both love gardening. Now We're you guys do live in a sort of duplex. The bottom half of the house is yours. The top oh. half, which includes part of the attic and the second floor, uh, belongs to your neighbor. She lives in our house. Well, in the second half of our house, we will. Okay, sorry, continue. It okay. is a beautiful morning. Uh, does this tree that you guys planted from Morin, does it have a name? I don't know, Nissa, does it have a name? Oh, you're better at these than I am. Uh oh, names? Um, well, what kind of tree is it? This is important. Um, this is important, actually. That's or, a good question. I, I see the twisting bark of it. Uh, it could be, well, it's not droopy enough to be a willow tree, but it could be some variant of willow tree. Based it's like on... a druidic or like dryad e like name. I speak Sylvan still, I believe. I feel like a Sylvan name. What if we it. name it after Morin, but we call it um, some version of Morin? Morin? That might be cute. Mori? Mori? That means death. That's not Oh, I guess that's not very, um... Oh my god, is it... Chet, do you have any good names? Do you want to help name our, want... our tree okay. live? A Sylvan name. I don't know. I, I want to see if, if Chet has any good names. I think we should all name it together. Your boy says Mo Morris. Morris? That doesn't mean death, so that's good. Um, Someone else Morris? says call it Clyde. Oh, Infinite Light. I do like Myron. Would you pronounce it Myron or Mirin? Because both are cute. Mirin is good. I really she like Mirin. little old lady tree. Is it a, what, do we get a sense of any sort of gender? Or is it just... It does have a little trees? face, doesn't it? Do we like Mirin or Myron? I think I, I like Mirin. I that could work for either. I like Mirin the pronunciation Mirin. Mirin is cute. Thank you, okay. Chad. Mirin. Okay, our tree's name is Mirin. You After often Morin. say hello and goodbye to this tree as you enter the premises. This morning, though, the sun is just rising. It is extremely early. It is. And Dante, you are getting up early. Yeah, that's my life. <laughs> because you have a very busy day today. I do. Oh my god. Look at those dimples. Oh, I'm getting early to make him breakfast then. <laughs> no, you're not. Go back to bed. Nope. <laughs> Go back to bed. Nissa is still sleeping, so Dante, I'm gonna need a deck saving throw. Or not just deck saving, there's just a stealth check to try Dude, to get past I'm Nissa. Not, I am not a criminal. You wanna know my passive my passive percent. George, I'm not a criminal anymore. <laughs> I can't keep doing these deck saves. I got a 12. 12. I'm not a stealthy man. Wait, that, was that stealth? That was a deck save or stealth? Oh, I'm sorry. That stealth. was just a deck save. Yeah, was it a stealth check? It's stealth, it's yes. A, yeah. It's the same either way. So. Okay. Same rule. I'm not stealthy this life. I'm sorry. When was I ever stealthy? As you try to stealth by, you creak a board <laughs> in the house. Fuck! You see yeah, Nissa's eyes open. I'm running. <laughs> is today the day? What day? Is the day that you're doing the thing? I'm not doing anything. At anything. work? Would you you would have told me, right? Yeah, he would have. I'm assuming okay. this is in character. This <laughs> conversation. <laughs> no, well, she was yeah. gonna wake up yeah. and be like, oh my god, it's the day. It's, it's the day, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He would have told you that this is the day that he's doing the thing. <laughs> he, he wouldn't have hiked it up. you go. <laughs> It's he knows five. he's probably trying to sneak out without eating. <laughs> oh, 100% he is. He doesn't want to cook anything for himself because he's like, nah, I don't want to do that. No, no, but he's also care. not going to wake his girl up. Just take a muffin from yesterday. It's fine. You need to eat something. Failing to, to eat sneak anything. out, you promise her to take a muffin, <laughs> lean down, and give her a kiss goodbye. Yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. Here you go, May. She's it's going back you, to bed baby. now. <laughs> Never forget. With that, Ugh, 
Be so you head out. They're so hot. <laughs> They're so hot. <laughs> out onto the streets of Waterdeep, where the, as a member of City Watch, you normally have a very busy day administering justice and keeping the city safe. But today is more important than the others because you have an appointment at the top of the highest peak in the city, <laughs> the top of Mount Waterdeep. The hike up there is extremely long. It's part yeah. of your test of sorts. Uh, killed me. I would oh like you God. to give me a con saving throw. Hey, in this life, I think I'm good at this. Oh, I'm, I'm not actually that great at these in this life. I like hey. the idea that we just say in this life after everything. Sorry. <laughs> um, hey, if you hadn't noticed, chat, I'm a different man. They're different, a little different. Different stats. Oh, that reminds me. Let me go ahead and update your overlay. In 18. Uh, in 18 and con, because I'm a big boy in this life. Because I'm not on the run. Oh, like you were in the last life. Okay. Oh, I know. I'm a bigger boy this life. <laughs> you thought I was big last life. Just wait till you see me now. Uh, there we go. I'm your built different, updated. as Wesler says. So what did you roll for your save? An 18. 18. You managed to make it up the side of the mountain. Uh, it's a very long hike. There is a little bit of climbing as you intend to take a shortcut. But oh, you have practiced for this. And you make of it course. up without developing much of a sweat. Okay. And you find yourself finally at the very top uh, at a place they call Peak Top Airy. How moment. long did this? How long did this take me, George? If it was like 5 a.m. when I woke up, it's about I'm three hours. Oh my fucking god! This man yeah. been walking. Mm-hmm. I mean, you had to walk from. You guys live in Castle Ward, uh, so you guys had to walk from somewhere in the middle of Castle Ward uh, to the trails that lead up to the top of Mount Waterdeep. Uh, and then at a certain point, you had to detour to get to the top of uh, Peak Top Airy, uh, which brings you here. You find yourself, one moment, one moment. Okay. I ain't worried about the con, baby. I got stamina for days. You, you find yourself what? here. <laughs> Why are you acting confused? You know. <laughs> Atop Peak Top Erie, uh, it's a, one moment, there we go, uh, where there are Griffin for stables uh, for the infamous Griffin Riders, a division of yeah. the Waterdeep Town Guard, uh, which is a different, sort of an offshoot of Waterdeep City Watch. The Town Guard protect the city, um, Town guards are usually lower ranking than members of City Watch. However, the one exception to that is the town guards division of Griffin Riders, who it's a glamorous hoppers. job. Many people want it. Many people look up to these Griffin Riders as they fly over the city. And today is your audition to be a member of those Griffin Riders. In front of you, is Captain Rollin. Captain Rollin is the uh, training officer for you cadets who have come here to be a member of the Griffin Riders. You guys have had a little bit of training, but today is sort of your evaluation to see if that training has stuck in and if you are yes. capable of being a member of the Griffin Riders. Okay. All right, cadets, we've trained for this. We've given you all the prep we've needed. Now we actually see if that was all worth a damn. Cadets, retrieve your mounts. And you head in, and yep. I have a really important question for you, which is, what is the name of your mount? 
Um, my name, uh, I have chosen is... Well, I don't know if he's chosen it, but the mount's name is Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Okay. okay. This is Cinnamon. Um, she's a good girl. Oh my god, look at Cinnamon. Oh my god, I love Cinnamon. She's so cute. Um, I have a question. Mm -hmm. How much actual training have they given us? Uh, they've given you training. What, what is like? What is like it you're the time? Like how long? Like how long? How many hours? Um, have I actually gotten to fly on cinnamon. Uh, you've gotten to fly very low altitudes. Uh, and uh, it, it's when by low altitude I mean like fifty feet, most off the ground. Okay. Um, they, how many it's flight sort hours? Of, yeah, you've flown for maybe an hour tops. Uh, and that's Training. over the course. Yeah, that's over the course of weeks. Um, they did a lot of oh, drills, uh, making sure that you were capable of handling such an animal, that you knew how to take care of it. Uh, and reminder, there will be a written portion of this exam as well. Okay, that's probably the section he's the most worried about. <laughs> Well, the first thing you need to do is show your prowess uh, in handling your mount. So as you go to retrieve cinnamon, I would like you to make a animal handling check. Okay, sure. Okay, yeah. I can't even, I can't even make any more animal handling jokes because I have nothing animalistic about me anymore. Mm -mm. You are still a man. Wait, hold up. We all know man is classified as animal. That's true. Hold up. We can still make jokes, chat. We're good. Okay. Um, My animal handling is plus one for everyone in the audience. Let's see live what happens. That's a fat 12, baby. Fat Over 12. 10? Over average! You Same. struggle a little bit, uh, oh, but you are able spicy. to get cinnamon out. And you are able to mount uh, as you are uh, well, a little bit more careful and connect it with your animal than some of the others. Uh, you see one of the riders, uh, their griffin uh, sort of gets up, flaps its wings and sort of like flaps up and using its back legs, kicks the rider across the stables. Whoa! He slams into the wall. Uh, and you're, okay. you're, you're done. I, out. Oh. And he's I was pulled about out. To, What's up? I was going to say, I don't know if I know the person auditioning, but, and I know maybe this is counterintuitive, but I feel horrible. I don't know if there's a way that I can help calm their griffin. Uh, well, you see this all happening rather quickly. Okay, uh, I don't know if it happened too quickly that I can't help, but like if there was any trick or, you know, thing I knew. You to go help. to calm down their mount uh, as you see this happening. That's very kind I don't of want you. Them to get kicked this out. rider, his name is Pruitt, um, and you Pruitt? run up to help them. Uh, as you do, go ahead and make another animal handling check. I just. I've already got Cinnamon kind of. Like, Cinnamon's, you know, she's feisty, but he likes him feisty. But she's like kind of, he's confident with her, but he just doesn't, you know, he, he wants everyone to do good. Um, so I will roll another animal handling check. Um, an 18. Well, apparently I do better with his griffin than mine. <laughs> you are able to get his griffin to calm down. His griffin's name is Silverbeak. Um, and I Give a they... stroke on, on the beak. They love that. <laughs> You are able to calm down the creature. Uh, Pruitt is dismissed from his uh, tryouts, however. Uh, oh. Unfortunate, but you tried Silver the best Beak, as you could to help. Uh, with this, all right, we've practiced for this. Now, let us begin. And one by one, the instructor, uh, Captain Rollins, takes you guys out to this sort of long walkway that follows, and this is sort of like their takeoff perch, uh, runs out onto this perch, 
and one by one takes a student at a time and they go on a flight around Waterdeep. Um, cool. You watch the first one go. And actually, you know what? Roll a d6 for me. A d6? Okay. Yeah, sure. D6. A four. Luckily for you, you are not one of the first few to go. And so you get this unique opportunity to potentially see what the other trainees are being made to do. <laughs> nice. Go ahead and give me a perception check. Okay. Um, hey, I'm not good at that. Eleven. Eleven. You try your best to watch you think that he might be having them fly near the walking statues of Waterdeep, these many tall statues uh, of gargantuan size that sort of decorate the city. Um, it is said, uh, though you've ne you you're not sure if you believe this, it is said that these statues can be animated at the command of uh, the Black Staff, a powerful wizard in the city. But you watch as you think the he's having them sort of hit each one and sort of kind of make a tour of the city and make precise landings on these statues. Mm -hmm. With that, um, and what did you said you was a, a eleven year old or an yeah, eight? Yeah, it was only it was 11? an eleven. Okay, got it. Yes. Okay, with that, your turn comes up. Okay, well, I, am I already on cinnamon, or did I have to get off of cinnamon to um, calm down Silverbeak yet? Oh, you know, you've, you're you're on cinnamon. You're all ready to go. Okay. okay, I give cinnamon a little little stroke on the beak, and just a. We've done this a million times. Please, please, please. Dante we'll Hot go... Spring. You're up next. Yep. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yes. Is is the guard captain male, female? Do I do I know pronouns? Captain Rollins or? is a gentleman. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> He'll come on up. <laughs> you prepare yourself. All you need to do is run off this perch and take flight. And you go to do so. And I would like you to make a... Make one more animal handling check. Okay. Please. <laughs> What's that? Hey. Not to ruin everything. Mm-hmm. But I crit missed. Okay. It's a two. You dive <sighs> off as you go for it and cinnamon throws you for a loop as cinnamon leaping Jeez off me. doesn't flap their wings doesn't leap instead cinnamon runs off and just runs straight off the cliff and enters into a nose dive dude <sighs> cinnamon is vicious dude cinnamon's like my wife as the wind starts rushing by you and one moment, we need to change the music a little Dude, bit. Dude, Cinnamon is kind of savage. I mean, like, I love her and I respect her for that. But, like, she's kind of um, being a bitch right now. That part is not like my wife, um, for clarification. Um, but she is being a little ho. Uh, all right, one Cinnamon. moment. Cinnamon! Dude, Cinnamon's about to do me dirty. She's a lady. You gotta treat her right. I, I'm trying, honey. You nose dive on the off. Beak. As this happens, there She's is this sudden me. instance of fear. Cinnamon's gonna kill me. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw to not oh give in to that fear. Dude, what if Cinnamon kills me in the fucking mini? <laughs> Cinnamon, please don't kill me. Come on, Cinnamon. Chat says don't make this over. 22! 22! 22. You keep your I'm eyes lying. open. Surprisingly. And you have to assert control 
Um, and I'm you know the way to do that is with a firm hand, uh, not not as in like hitting cinnamon or something like that, but you need to grab hold of the reins and yeah. you need to make sure you kind of assert control over what's happening. Uh, so go ahead Come and give on, me a athletics check to oh my God, sort yes. of grip the reins and, and ride this out. And you have faith that cinnamon's going to course correct. The thing is, is are you going to be thrown off when they course correct? I it's a 24 because I'm good 24. at being strong, baby. You pull up. That I can do. You pull up, but at this point, Cinnamon. your instructor has already begun the course and is flying ahead of you. I'm behind. Yeah. So go ahead and give me, I'm going to say. Cinnamon. Hmm. Go ahead and give Girl. me a. Girl. You have two options. You can okay. either make a survival check in order to navigate the best way to catch up to your instructor, uh, uh -huh. or you could attempt another animal handling check to sort of try to push Cinnamon into high gear. I want to appeal more. There's no difference in the check for me, um, but I do think I want to appeal more to the animal handling of um, appealing to Cinnamon. Okay. I think, because at the end of the day, that's what this is about, is like, you know, connecting with your, your mouth, I think. Or he thinks, at least. Um, an 11. An 11. Yeah, uh, an 11. You try, that's for animal that's handling, you said, right? Yeah. You try your best, Cinnamon's uh, a little bit- yeah, She's, she's feisty. A little bit lethargic. She's just like this for her is just a Cinnamon. normal stroll. There's no urgency in this situation. Um, Cinnamon. So your Cinnamon. instructor goes, and uh, you see them flying towards Dock Ward, uh, and they're flying towards a statue. Uh, let me one moment. I'll pull this up. Uh, you see them flying. You can Cinnamon. see this statue right here. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit. One of my favorite statues. Uh, this one statue. right here, the yes. uh, the honorable knight, they call it. Uh, and that's, it's on the edge of Dock Ward in Southern Ward. Uh, so you see your instructor, uh, Captain Rollins is heading there. Uh, you attempt to catch up. Um, go ahead and give me a perception check. Okay. Oh my God, Cinnamon's really. Hey, so I'm not perceptive either. I don't have fox ears anymore. Um, I'm sorry. But I did roll high, so 17. 17. As you are flying towards it, you see something that you didn't see when you were watching the other students. There are flags on this statue, and you believe you are meant to grab those flags. And it's not a simple matter of like landing and disembarking. It's a matter of making these tight maneuvers, getting close enough to a target to actually gotcha. interact with it. So okay. you see this flag, it's on the shoulder of this statue. What would you like to do? Um, I think, um, obviously I want to grab the flag because he thinks that's the goal. Um, but as we're kind of coming up to the flag, maybe, uh, maybe give like Cinnamon a little kind of like a, like a tap on her neck, not hard or anything, but just like a, kind of like you do with a horse when you want them to speed up, you, you're you supposed to squeeze your knees together and that is supposed to like move them forward. Kind of a tap on her neck, just kind of like, I don't know if she can even understand me, but he definitely talks to her like she can. If you could head towards that flag, that'd be great. And he's gonna try and steer her um, with with as firm a hand as, as she'll allow him. Give um, me a athletics check flag. and a persuasion check. Okay. Um, persuasion or athletics first? Uh, your choice. I will do athletics first and then the pers No, actually, persuasion. Let's be soft first and then hard if we need to be. Okay. Um, I'm not a persuasive man, 
I'm only persuasive to my wife. Um, that's crit miss for six. My persuasion is six. high. You, uh, please, 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 please. We, we gotta get the flag. You're, you're sort of begging Cinnamon. Go I'll ahead beg and Cinnamon, make dude. your athletics check. So if she's not listening, then I will force it with an athletics check. Uh, with a 22 for athletics. 22, you're able to sort of guide her and uh, Cinnamon, come pulling, on, she sort of glides and as she it. does, uh, she's coming towards the statue. You grab the first flag. Um, as you soar up into the air, um, you are, <sighs> okay, you're doing it. Captain Rollins flies up next to you. Uh, yeah. One moment. One moment. In a good way or a bad way. Um, <laughs> something's not working. One second. Okay, there we go. Captain Rollins flies up next to you. You're going slow, Dante. You're gonna have to speed oh. up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, sir. You. You're He's rolling his eyes, but he will be. The only polite. issue now is you're not sure where the other flags are. Go ahead and uh, give me another perception check. Okay. Well, wait. If one was on the statue, would I not assume that? I know that there are other prominent statues throughout Waterdeep. Why would they not? Is that not a pattern? Could that I not assume that? That is a pattern. If you would like to make a survival check instead, you can go ahead and try to find out. Using Survival your knowledge. versus perception? Yes. That's the same for me, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but, you know, for the heck of it, survival, that seems more fitting for him. Um, a dirty 20. Dirty 20. You make your way quickly to the statue of the drunkard, uh, swooping down. Uh, as you do, uh, because bullshit. of your sort of forceful approach, uh, this time, Cinnamon is, Cinnamon's a little feisty and isn't liking being controlled. Girl! Cinnamon does as you ask and flies towards the statue, but as Cinnamon does so, they begin to do a roll. Cinnamon! And so as they're rolling, I need she you said, first- get off my back. I need you first to make another Spirit. athletics check to hold yeah, no, on. Yeah, no, 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 I got it. Actually, make that a strength saving <laughs> throw to hold on. A strength saving throw, okay. okay. Alexa, like She back. said, get this fucking dick off my back. I hate him. I want him dead. I'd like to, dude, I love a woman who wants to kill me. Um, unfortunately for her, I rolled a 21. I'm a strong boy. You hold on, but you come so close to the rock you might hit the statue. Give me a deck saving throw. Oh no, I'm not good at that in this line. A deck saving throw, correct? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, that's a six. I'm getting bludgeoned. It's six. called a concussion. Remember in the when business. you had dexterity? <laughs> hey, remember when I was a rogue? I'm not a rogue anymore. If you were wondering, I'm not a criminal, moment. that's why. Only criminals are rogues. Give me I another imagine. strength saving throw. Okay, oh my god. Hey, what if I died? <laughs> How would you feel about that? Um, a little sad. Um, a dirty 20. You manage to hold on, you take 12 points of bludgeoning damage as oh, your shoulder cinnamon. is clipped by the statue, but you do manage to grab the flag. There is one more Definitely. left and you are heading straight for it, is the statue of the sleeping lady, a statue oh. of a woman uh, laid out. This is towards the edge by the coast. So there's the ocean and you see this statue of a woman who looks like she's tired. Me? And you see the flag Me is too. on her elbow that's sticking up towards the sky. Flying towards it, is there anything you would like to try to do differently to make sure you can get Cinnamon under control? Hmm. Dude, I think Cinnamon, dude, Cinnamon doesn't like the soft approach. You know, there's no persuading Cinnamon. She's a woman of her own, of her own convictions, right? Um, I would like to try and persuade Cinnamon first, okay? Go Cinnamon, for it. Cinnamon, if you, 
But you get this flag for me. Think about it. You'd have a rider. You'd get to get out into the skies more often. And my wife has a way with animals. She's... You're quite fond of her. You've met her. You remember her? You'd get to see her more often. And you know she always brings those wonderful baked goods that you love so much. You know, if you cooperate with me. Just this once. That's his persuasion. Like, hey, my wife makes really good treats and you would love those. I know you love them. She brings them every time she visits. Confirm. Dude, I can persuade. I bring Pers fresh veggies from the garden and stuff. You know? Dude, cinnamon. What was your She role? wants a snack. Oh, yeah, let me roll. <laughs> yeah. And 18. <laughs> hey, 18. Hey, you, yeah. You make this Dude, persuasive I persuaded. argument. And are you, easy, on, are you easing up on the like? Yeah, I'll ease control? up. Yeah, I'll ease up. I'm gonna trust Cinnamon. Ease you ease up. up. You make this persuasion. Come on, Cinnamon. Give me animal handling at advantage. Come on, Cinnamon. Let's do this, girl. Did you name her Cinnamon because she really liked it, like a cinnamon pastry? She loves. She loves like Snickerdoodles, probably. You know. <laughs> Um, a 17. 17. Dude, Cinnamon uh, wants those Snickerdoodles. She wants the Nissa Snickerdoodle. Do it for the Nissa Cinnamon Doodle. Cinnamon swoops Me too. Down. I want the Nissa Doodle. <laughs> and as they're swooping down, you think that Cinnamon might be coming in for a landing. You're not sure, but the way I they're trust you, coming cinnamon. in, you're not sure. It looks like the flag is going to be passing under them. You think that you might actually just brush up against it. Like where you are on top of Cinnamon, you're not gonna be able to grab this flag is what I'm saying. It'll be so close. Why would close, Cinnamon do this? But not close enough. Do you realize this is what's happening? What would you like to do? Okay. okay, so like, I'm assuming this is like me fully, like I'm assuming I can't grab this flag when I'm fully seated on Cinnamon with arm fully stretched, correct? Correct, it'll be like under you and you won't, you like riding Cinnamon, you're not able to get that far underneath Cinnamon's body to grab this flag. Okay, I don't know if this requires a persuasion check when talking to Cinnamon, um, but trusting her so far and giving her a bit more control has worked out in his favor so far. Has it? I mean, this past role it did. She Fair seems enough. to be cooperating enough. Um, and I think he just truly believes if, you know, like being a good Griffin rider comes down to the connection between you and your Griffin. So he needs to establish that and there needs to be trust between the two of them. And it's a bit reckless, but I think that's in line with him. Um, so what would you like to do? I'm going to wrap the rein around my left arm, hold on to it, and kind of do a, I don't, like I'm gonna drop down like this a bit. Is that enough to you reach wanna it? Like, you wanna like, like roll over and sort of hang a off bit. cinnamon? Yeah, hang off cinnamon a bit. And I'm gonna let her know I'm doing that, just, um. Cinnamon, well, one second, let me grab the flag. Just kind of like letting her know, hey, this is what I'm doing. So she's prepared for me to put a bit of weight on her bridle. Okay. So she knows that that's coming. Um, again, he doesn't know she understands him, but like- This a... is a dangerous maneuver. Yeah. You lean down, wrapping the, br the bridle the around yourself. For my family, dude. As you do- you that promotion. Cinnamon, you see, is fine with your weight being shifted. This okay. is a large creature. That's fair. She's not bothered by the shift in weight. She she compensates. But you watch as you lean over, you watch as her front talons grab the flag. He was gonna do it for me. But because oh. they did this, they are swooping in so low your head is coming dangerously close to the rock. I need you to make um, a deck saving throw. Hey, what if deck. I get a concussion? 
What if, indeed? Hey, are you okay if I show up to dinner with a concussion? Just ask. Okay. I mean, I did wrap my hand around. She's kind of expecting it. <laughs> hey, um, I only have a plus one and I rolled a 19, <laughs> yeah. so I just want to say that. Um, you rolled a, rolled a 19? 19. I rolled a 19. You lean over, realizing your mistake. I'm remembering my past you life. You pull up as hard as you can, adjusting. You whip up, dodging the rock but you're then, now you're shifting weight and you're pulling on the reins to get up out of the way. Cinnamon has once again begun to spun. She's corkscrewing? She's corkscrewing. Cinnamon! She sort of spins. Stop it, Cinnamon! And is uh, trying to adjust. Uh, I'm gonna need you to make a strength saving throw at okay. disadvantage okay. due to the sudden rise up. Uh, an 18 at disadvantage. Hell yeah. Strong you point. manage to correct and not let go yeah, let's as fucking cinnamon, go, cinnamon comes in for a less than graceful landing, but lands. You manage to hold on to the two flags you got. Cinnamon is holding one in their talons as <laughs> you come in for a landing back at the top of Peak Top Erie. In fact, as you are soaring over the city, uh, bah, 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 uh, one moment, one moment, one moment. Uh, yeah, actually, it, forget that you soar through, you come to a landing at Peak Top Erie, and with that, you successfully completed the aerial course of your training. Oh, that's what they call a bad bitch. Maneuver. The writing. <laughs> Captain Rollins is a little uh, not entirely impressed. Uh, they, they have some concerns, uh, but a little touch and go there, Dante. Mm. But I did it. It'll do. Yeah. With that, you now have to complete the dreaded written course. Oh my God. Wait, there's a fucking written test. I need I you to go ahead and question. make three checks for me. Oh my God. Okay. Actually two checks, just two. One is intelligence. Uh, I'm gonna say that is, that will be just- I'm big of heart though. <laughs> I'm gonna say that would be intelligence survival and then the other one is a intelligence nature check too intelligent. it is a written okay. course after all it's all the same for me um so it doesn't matter what any of those that i roll um hey i'm good at like two um uh, three things um okay uh bloop the first one's an 11. Um, what's the second one? Uh, it was intelligence part? survival and intelligence nature. Okay, got it. Um, yeah, I've never been in nature really before. Um, what? You grew up in people, nature. Um, do people do that? Eight. Um, Eight. I passed on all the checks that keep me alive. And that's all that Nissa cares about. What's the third? That was... I'm gonna say that normally would be it. You have finished the test. Dude, I failed the written test, Nissa. You, Nissa has taught you so much about nature. You may have failed the written test. I wasn't listening. Your eyes are too pretty. Oh, I'm sorry. The question is, what is your relationship with Captain Rollins? What is my relationship with Captain Rollins? What is your relationship with Captain Rollins? You can attempt We're all to asking. make a, any charisma type check that you wish. Oh, he said, you're hot, Damn. make your persuasion. <laughs> it, it, are you friends with them? Him. Are you a pain in their ass? Your can choice. you tell me more about Rollins? You can seduce him, baby, it's fine. Okay, thanks. Rollins, this is for the good of our family, so I can Rollins make more money. Rollins is a straightforward uh, military guy. Um, it, it's just really your personality is what's at test here. 
Well, as we all saw, I never gave any sass, and I always said yes, sir, did I not? That's all I'm saying. I, I was a good boy, through and through. Choose which charisma check you'd like to make. Um, I would like to persuade. Persuade. Go for it. Um, in what context am I persuading? Like what this do... is this is over the course of the weeks that you've been training. Oh, okay. This I was like, sort of mm, a... let me formulate how yeah. I'm going to manipulate them. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. No, you're wrong fine. Show. I don't... This is the long con. Wrong show. I don't need to manipulate. Um, no, your wife will do that for you. Um, I rolled really low. I got a 10. Okay, what if Nissa brings baked goods for cinnamon and the Well, what Captain if my Al? wife is hot? Surely you want to fuck my wife, right? I'm not going to let you, but, like, you want to look at her more, right? Nissa definitely is trying to help. Hey, look at her tits. They're pretty nice. That's... She wears pretty low-cut shirts. I've been helping with the pastries, but maybe her shirt's oh, a little lower. Oh, of that. course. Her shirt's really low. She cinched her corset real tight that day. Tiny waist. Really Sorry. tiny waist. Um, her waist is really tiny. I can tell These you crass never... comments do not... I would never say this. <laughs> I'd never say this in person about my wife. I this promise. out of character. Are they? He would never say this. Are they, though? Um... Oh, I mean, Vanessa. he wouldn't. He wouldn't say these. I said to baked Captain goods. Rollins. He would say these to Nissa, not to Captain Rollins. Come on. Nissa. Yeah. Go ahead and give me a survival check. Survival? You're not giving me the charisma. <laughs> it's going to be survival to see if you are a good baker. Oh. Oh my God. It's fine. My promotion only rides on this. On you being good at cooking. Nat 20, baby! 22. Oh my God, that's, that's my <laughs> wife. Dude, that's my that's wife. That's why Cinnamon loves me too. Captain Dude, Rollins Cinnamon. looks at your written exam. He said, you're dumb, but your wife, she can cook. Oh. <laughs> Carefully Dude, reviews up. what they saw during your flight test. Fly, baby. I can't write though. They think about it. Okay. Dante Hot Spring. That's me, sir. Uh, yes, sir. You seem I'll, to have spilled ink sleep. on your written test. Oh my God! When did I do that? Wait, no, he didn't shh, say that. Shh. <laughs> um. Uh, yes, sir. Would you like me to take it again? There was no way for me to clean it up. I think that would be best. Take it again? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Go ahead Him. and make Thank God. <laughs> your intelligence check for nature and uh, survival okay. one more time. A nat 20 on the first one, a 21. Um, yes! And here's the survival one. Um, not great, a four on the other one. It didn't roll great. A nat 20, 21, and a four. You managed to pass with a grade of D minus. <laughs> That's still passing, baby! Oh, yes! On your written exam. Dude, D's That's get degrees. <laughs> D's D get for degrees. Dante! <laughs> D for Dante. That's the, I failed on part. I I did poorly on purpose so I could get D for my name. Nissa said it's cute. And with I that, D's get degree. You. That's why it starts with D. Will be welcomed into the Griffin Riders. It's called being a baller. Dante. How about being baller? You are thrilled to hear the news. You have successfully passed. You will be a member of the Griffin Riders. And while you are experiencing all of that, <laughs> Nissa is off on her own adventure. Yeah. One second. Nissa. Hi. It has been a peaceful morning, but dread is starting to build up in your stomach.
you get up in the morning. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw that art for the first time. <laughs> uh-huh. You get up in the morning. You remember that you have a meeting with a friend of yours, Ellis. Ellis oh, is a noble, a member of House Amcathra, who mm -hmm. you've had some conversations with about your problem that you've been having. <laughs> Today, you're hoping to get their help. You know they usually spend time in the, uh, in the park, I believe. The park is called, uh, it is called Hero's Garden. Anything special you do before leaving the house? Um, he, I met him at my work, right? Correct. You've been working over the last five years at a, uh, a bookseller and uh, bookbinder, and you have met various types of wizards and spellcasters and learned men uh, and you are hopeful that you're going to you've been trying to find someone who can help you with this you've heard though that Ellis has been able to help people with a wide variety of problems and he does have magical aptitude you've seen him cast spells regularly casting second level spells uh, very casually like it doesn't cost him much at all he must be Capable. Great. Um, I guess I would only point out that I told I told Dante yesterday. He knows where I'm going. Mm -hmm. um, what my plan is for the day. And I think, uh, you know what? That since it's it's worked out for her so well, and it's what she does with most of the time when she's not working. Um, usually with ingredients from their own garden. I'm gonna bring, she'll have, where am I meeting him at? Is it at the park or is it at somewhere? Yes, at the park. You know you can oh. find them there. Oh, okay, great. Then I'm gonna bring like a cute little, like a little picnic basket and I'm gonna put some, um, some of my, let's do today's uh, lavender scones. I'm gonna throw some of those in there and I'll bring them, I'll bring them with me. I'll bring a little treat. Okay. And I don't think I really no. have anything else to do. <laughs> Poor, she's bringing a treat. Oh my God, she's so precious. We ain't got money to pay for this. So I'm gonna bring something. As you head out, your neighbor Ethel leans from her window. Have a Ooh. sweet day, sweetie. You too, Ethel. And she's gonna wave, but not look back. Ethel, Ethel's got this voice that kind of just does a specific thing and reminds her of some certain old ladies in her last life that she'd rather not think about. So she kind of just scurries away. You scurry away uh, and off to the uh, hero's garden. Uh, you find yourself here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Not a hag, she just sounds like one. <laughs> I swear. Because yeah. if she is, I would kill George. I mean, oh my god, wait. Do you see that silhouette in the fucking window? Stop. No, I'm so serious. <laughs> nope, I don't see anything. I'm running. I'm on the way out. I'm oh. gone. I'm just saying. Nope. <laughs> Hannah, that's a bit <laughs> rude. <laughs> a bit rude. You find you yourself know. in Hero's Garden. Uh, it's one of the city's illustrious uh, uh, sort of parks. Usually here, there are many heroes for hire, uh, adventurers looking for work. Uh, they'll hang out here and wait for nobles to come by and offer themselves to help them and save them from various things. You do see Ellis is here, uh, looking dashing as always. Oh, no, that Ben Barnes? Dude, is that Ben Barnes? <laughs> Wondering. I don't like this man. 
Hello. <laughs> ah, Nissa, correct? Yes, Ellis, correct? What a pleasure to see you here. It's a fine, lovely day. It is. I just. Is this not like a planned meeting? This is me trying to catch him? Yes. Like, oh, okay, okay, got it. Yeah, I was just, uh, decided to bring a book to the park, and I, uh, brought some scones, but I probably brought too many to eat myself. How do you feel about pastries? <laughs> I do love them sweet, of course. Oh, perfect. Would you like to share with me? And she'll like, I think she has like a little picnic blanket or something too. Uh, yes, I'd love to. Okay. They sit with you, uh, enjoy a scone. Uh, this is all happening while, like, at some point overhead, Dante, <laughs> like, <laughs> is like almost Screaming. crashing. Screaming. <laughs> yeah. It's that TikTok sound <laughs> where they're having the serious talk and then it's like the, I'll wake up in my. <laughs> Yeah, that's happening right over. I'm almost getting a concussion over your head and falling to my death. This uh, <laughs> is like everything's it's fine, he's gonna get it, I know it. <clears throat> so how do I deserve such wonderful company this fine afternoon? Oh, well uh I mean you know I work at the the Zor Star is the store I work at, right? Uh, yes, the, no, the Zor Star is, oh, yes, no. yes, that is correct. Or is it Blackwell's Fine Books? Uh, it is the Zor Star you work okay. at. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I, I just love talking with the, the, I mean, the people who come into the Zor Star are so interesting, and I, you know, enjoyed our conversation the other day when you came in for paper, and I had to say hello when I saw you. I just, I'd love to ask you some questions, I guess, about uh, magic? Magic. Yeah, I mean, you're quite proficient, right? Mm-hmm. It seems I have some skills. Well, I mean, everyone talks about it. I mean, like, your proficiency. I mean, <laughs> shut up, Momo, you shut up. Go ahead and give me a persuasion or performance check. Okay. She is trying to, like, slough him up a little mm -hmm. before she, like, reveals anything. Um, persuasion or performance? I'm going for persuasion. That's going to be a natural 20 for 28. Mm. My is so persuasive. <laughs> Dude, she's so persuasive. I don't generally going about flaunting my magic. I've noticed you cast a spell here or there. Yes, I uh, mostly keep it rather simple. Um, can I ask an out of character question really quick? How, the, my issue, I guess, like how, is, is there any like, obviously she doesn't, people don't know about it. She doesn't go around talking about it, but he is there any reason have, she should be worried he, to bring it up? Him saying that he knows that you've casted spells oh. is likely of it's of minor concern because okay. it means he's been a lot more observant than you've taken him for and mm -hmm. he has likely seen more than you intended for him to see okay great sick love that <laughs> hey um well in that case then uh she would be a little more careful i guess and say you're not formally yes. trained, are you? No, I can't go to the academy. I take it you're not registered with the Watchful Order of Mages? No, I'm not. Nissa? But it's, it's for An unregistered it's for other mage. Do you know what could happen to you? Do you know what could happen if I was registered and made to use my magic? What's wrong with I your think magic? It'd be worth it. it doesn't. I. I know how to cast the spells. I know how to cast, but sometimes, instead, it's a spell that I don't know how to cast. It's not just 
a weaker spell or a misfiring. It's a different spell that I don't know. And it can hurt people. Your magic's not reliable. You've been tainted by wild magic. I believe so. I can't. Well, this really is exactly go the kind of thing it. that the Watchful Order needs to be alerted of. Oh, we gotta kill him. Does the does the Watchful Order like would they they don't teach you how to use your magic? It's so that they can enlist you if they need to, right? It's so they can enlist you, and also. It's sort of like owning a firearm uh, in yeah. a responsible country where they would want to know like who is capable of you know causing great harm like that. Uh, in this way, he the watchful order sort of makes sure like if a fireball goes off, they need to know mm -hmm. who is capable in the area of doing such a thing. Skipping dragon age. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, but <laughs> giving, giving, mage giving chantry. You it's know that chantry. it's it's a serious crime. It can even involve jail time for not being registered. And but would I not be just as afraid that I could oh, end absolutely. up in a similar situation? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You are perfectly my... warranted okay. in not being registered okay. as far as your okay. character is concerned. But okay. Ellis asking you about that is stressful. And then he leans forward. It's all right. I'm not registered either. How? What? Why? I don't need everybody in my business, do you? Besides, they don't... The Watchful Order is for wizards and stuffy librarians. No offense. Not suggesting that of you. Clearly, we're of a different ilk. Are you here to get help for your magic? Yes, I couldn't bear it if anything happened to the person I love because of me. It's that dangerous, is it? It's caused some problems before, and I don't know what else it can do. I have no idea. Then there's not there's only so much research I can do at the shop. Well, I must pay you back for these fine scones in this lovely evening. So let's us meet elsewhere, and I will help you with this problem. Not here, of course. Have you been to the City of the Dead? I don't think I would have. I, I don't think I would have been. There's not... You I'm wouldn't have been, no. but you've heard of it. It's a... It's a part yeah. of, it's not really a city, it's a yeah. part of Waterdeep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she doesn't have anyone who's passed away in the city, so I'm gonna say no. I, 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 I mean, I, kn I know where it is, but I have no reason to go. Meet me there at the old Margaster Crypt. <laughs> when? Let's say five o'clock. Okay. What time is it? Now? It's like noon, middle of the day? Yes. Oh. The only okay. downside is you hope that whatever this meeting is, it will be done quickly because you have dinner plans at six o'clock. Where are the dinner? How far are the dinner plans? Um, they're not that far. It's not like across town. But uh, you you will have to make sure that you're not there all day. Okay, um, I could do that. Uh, Wonderful, it's a date. Uh, uh, it's um, I want to say date. Ellis but... gets up and strolls <laughs> out of the park. Hey, you wearing your wedding ring? Just asking. yes, I'm wearing my wedding ring. Okay, I'm just asking. You drew her hands behind her back, but she's wearing her wedding ring. Okay. Well, you know. Um, just no. ask. Shit. What time? 
How far is Dante? Dante like uh, is probably right now finishing his exam uh, for the second time. Uh, you could, to get to where Dante is, he is high up on uh, Peak Top Airy. Uh, you know that's where he is. Unless you have some other means, it, it would take it would take you too long to go all the way up there and come all the way down for your appointment with Ellis. And I'm meeting not at home, right? So there's not a way. Can I go to the, pl wherever we're going, can I go there first? Do I know where we're going? Like yeah, you the, the City of the Dead? No, like after that. Oh. You're you're asking if you can have you can have dinner yeah. with Dante first and then head to this thing? No, I'm asking if I can like leave a message just in case I am late, but I'm gonna try really hard not to be late, but also if I'm doing wild magic stuff, I'm a little bit worried. Okay. You stop by the yawning portal where you guys have okay. dinner plans. Okay. Uh, and you leave a note. What does the note say? Um I'm gonna say Dante, I might have an answer to my problem. I have a meeting at five in the City of Dead. I will rush over right after. I'll okay. say a meeting with I'll say a meeting with Ellis. She's not trying. She's not trying to be like I don't know why I'm doing this. Like it's a sending message and I have limited words. <laughs> she's not like trying to be sneaky or anything. She's trying to let him know. Okay. You head off. Uh... And P.S. You know how nobles are. Couldn't <laughs> change it. You head off, Dante. You are finishing your uh, your efforts atop uh, Peak Top Eerie. Uh, Airy, mm -hmm. sorry. Uh, one moment. Dur, 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 dur. You are finishing your work there. You notice that there is actually, uh, as you are cleaning up. You notice that there is a uh, poster on the notice board outside the of poster. Peak Top Erie. Uh, Airy. Um, and yep. you've never seen this person before, uh, mm -hmm. but it does ring some connection to you. I want. I'm looking in. The, I'm fourth wall looking into the camera right now. Hey, everyone. Jim, Jim Halpert. Hey. Hey. Um, let's see. Missing Alfie Graves. 500 gold pieces reward. Bit high. A big gold piece reward. Just saying. Blonde of hair. Blue of eye. Cleric of Ogma. Brother of the, of the late Pritchard Graves? Yes. Um. Last seen in his home. Late? That man didn't die. I was with that man. I no, watched that, man. They are presumed dead because them and their entire house uh disappeared. Well, the house collapsed. Collapsed? Yeah. Do I have I heard of anything before this earlier? I mean, I, I'm part of the guard, I assume this would have raised they some suspicion. They found evidence of fire damage. They believe fire that damage. he may have taken his own life. But uh, while his body was not recovered, neither was his brother, and they do not believe he would have harmed Alfie. Especially since I know that's his last family. Like yeah. His, the last bit of his family as I watch the rest of them. Um. Hmm. That's a bit odd. Um. Well, I probably can't take this poster, but would you say this is within my wheelhouse? Am I allowed to investigate this any further? No, probably not. Um, you just take a mental note of it to hopefully find him again. Um, okay. He definitely does. He... That's concerning to him, especially with what has happened and how closely um, he might feel connected to this uh, late Mr. Graves um, with... The shared trauma they have. Hmm. Yeah. He'll keep note of this. Um, keep an eye out. Nissa, you make your way to the City of the Dead. 
there, it's actually a very nice and it's actually nicer than most of the city parks. If you're fine with the number of headstones you see and the number of mausoleums about, it is a beautiful garden during the day. Five o'clock arrives. The sun is just above setting. And you step into the mausoleum of, uh, it is known as Old Margaster Mausoleum. Uh, the Margaster family has many mausoleums, but this one is their older one, but they no longer bury newer members of the family in. Uh, oops, okay. one moment. Um, there we go. I was wondering where my mouse was, and it was on the wrong screen. There we go. Um, going inside. Give me one moment. <laughs> ah. You made it. As you step inside... One moment, one moment. Music's not playing. I'm there nervous. we go. I don't like this. Yeah, give me I'm the scared. dead people music. Mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. wild magic. Of it's course. titled dead people music. <laughs> dead people in I'm sure war. you can find it quickly, George. I'm sure mm -hmm. you have no other dead people music. Listen, if they're dead, that means I can't kill them. I think I'd rather be able to kill them. You step into side one of the mausoleums. And there, waiting for you, is Ellis. You came. Not, yeah, not quite as nice as the park, but I understand the need for subtlety. So, you wish to be rid of your wild magic? Unless there's any way for me to control it, I, it's not as if I truly have a need for it other than... wild magic can't be controlled it's dangerous infectious you're lucky you haven't spread it to your spouse by now it's infectious oh yes what and yes i would i would rather be rid of it what does that cost it's normally Normally, the only way to be rid of wild magic is to wear a device that will remove all magic from your life. Not just from your person or your ability to cast spells, but you wouldn't be able to use a single other magical thing. A dreary life. Fortunately, however, I have very powerful friends, and we can help you. Question is, what is that worth to you? I didn't always have this curse. I, I, it's no loss to me to live without magic. I mean... I can't use it for anything other than simple tasks for fear of killing someone, so... I... I... I don't... I, I, I mean, I'd give all, all the gold that we have. It, I think it'd be worth it. I think my husband would agree. But I don't... What, what does it cost? Even if I offered all the gold I have to help you, I don't think that would be enough. I give most anything short of my life or his. That's what it's for. It's to protect us. Would you promise to serve? God. I'm gonna need a little more details than that before I can make an agreement like that. There are powerful beings in this world who are capable of 
expunging this magic from you, replacing it with spells far more powerful, more reliable, less dangerous. But it does come at the cost of service. Come on, you can tell me a little more than that. I mean, like, what, what, to do what in that service? I, you could be talking about murdering people and that's not worth it. The whole point is to not do that. You don't want to hurt anyone, I understand. How do you feel then about your children? Do you plan on having any? know that it's entirely your business, but I do I'm and really I don't fine want to do to anything. I, I understood. Yes, that would be... <laughs> Not your mama mouth. <laughs> mouth face. Yes, that, that, we, we, that would be our plan. Yes. Uh, we want to have a family. Well... If you're not willing to do, to serve on your own, you can offer another to take your place. That's what friends of mine have done. You plan on having three children, just have one more. <laughs> that, one more to keep the rest of them safe. Doesn't sound that different from murder. It's sounding a lot like murder to give someone up without any more context. You could tell me what they'll be doing or who this is. But I can't make an agreement without that information. They won't be hurt. You have my word on that. The child will be safe. Nista is currently thinking about hag deals and how much this seems like the exact experience she has been through in another life, and she is not. She's not gonna. <laughs> isn't isn't there? I'm not gonna give up someone else. Certainly, if it was going to be anyone, it would be myself. But is there not anything else? I I, I don't know how. If they're so powerful, then what's to be afraid of? Why can't I know more? Or meet them, even. And tell them to their face. You wish to meet them? I can make that happen. If meeting is not an agreement, then yes, that seems ideal. Okay. Put this on. He hands you a thick robe oh and a hood. <laughs> okay. Okay, um. She'll put it on. She told Dante where she was going. If anything happens, he'll know. Don't look at me like that. She's trying to help them. I know, honey. I believe in you. Always, always. I can kill him, too. I know you can. I have no doubt you can kill him. <laughs> that scone was poisoned. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He, You're on your hot girl shit, I know. <laughs> he leads you down further through these sort of catacombs in this crypt until eventually you come upon a large room of people. They are, they don't quite look like this. So everybody in the chat, don't panic, <laughs> but panic. or panic. they I mean, have these vibes. Choice. Dude. Oh, George wow. is putting out a vibe check. Okay, cool. Love those vibes for me. Like when you say vibe, do you mean like cultist vibe or wears fashionable robes vibe? Or dragon vibes. Cultist dragon. vibes, not cool. dragon vibes. Ignore okay. all dragon. Elements. This is an important okay. distinction. 
I'm fourth are, wall looking at the camera. Are they wearing masks of any sort? Many like, of them are there, wearing masks. Is it like anything specific or is it more just like a generic mask? Many of them are wearing masks that are crimson. One gentleman at the head of the crowd who's rather very tall, very broad shoulder, wears a mask with two red horns at top of it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay. You see the people here chanting. Hail be his name. Asmodeus. 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 You see, Ellis continues speaking to you, whispering into your ear. There are many who can help. All of the people here have been helped by this being. You need not worry. You will be left alone for 99 years. But at the age of 99, you will pledge the rest of your days to them. Is that what you've done? Yes. I don't... I'm a full human, so... I don't think I'll be reaching the age of 99. So you see, the cost for me wasn't that high at all. Perhaps maybe one, two, three years of service at best. You... Or half elf? Do you not see how foolish that sounds? Why would any powerful, all powerful being make a deal with you if you were simply to perish? There's obviously more to it. <laughs> no. It's plain as day. They offer us these deals in written terms. I've reviewed them myself. Powerful beings have powerful ways of addressing these things. Time is not as simple as it seems, my friend. I understand you're concerned, you have doubts. But tell me, which is worse? Some service for a higher power or catastrophe with wild magic. You don't want to give up one child, but your wild magic could kill all of them. I once knew a man who had wild magic like you. Created a fireball right in his home where his wife and children slept. I think if he were here, he would make this deal. Nissa, the clock is ticking. I think I've heard those words before. I actually hate you so much, George. Dude, <laughs> I can't believe you're doing this to me. No, right no. I hate uh, you. I. I Surely you have other connections, Ellis. Please, like, I, I know you're trying to help me, and it means a lot, but this is... Getting rid of wild magic. It's either a life without any of the art or beauty of the arcane, or this is the way. Are you going to let me leave this place? And can I come back if I so choose? Are you intending to come back 
or are you legitimately considering coming back? I don't want to tell you. <laughs> um, I think he's fucking persuasive too. The, the anecdote is really persuasive. I think she's leaning towards not because she had, just because she has the specific experience she has with making deals with powerful beings. But there is like some sliver of her that like hears the, the logic in what he says. So it's not like she is, has a tiny bit of doubt, even though she is leaning more against it. You have to understand, I've taken a great risk in bringing you here. I will not be able to bring you back here. Now, if you wish to leave, I can escort you out. That's not a problem. But if you are at all considering taking this offer, this is your only chance. For you, your husband's sake, and the sake of the many children that may be to come, I hope you take this offer. I guess I also have to ask, I assume, like, Asmodeus is not some secret figure, like, we all know who he is, like, he's like You can the make devil. a religion check. Okay. I'm just curious, I guess. My religion's not great. Oh, 19, though. He is the devil. The, <laughs> the de facto devil. When people <laughs> warn of temptation, when they warn of of getting something for nothing, many of those tales involve Asmodeus. However, just as many tales yeah. talk of him as a dear friend, someone who will always be there when you need them most, but it is often sung in a cautionary way. Got it. Yeah, no, nothing, I, I'll speak to her in a second, but basically nothing, Nothing that terrible has happened with her wild magic yet. Nobody has been severely hurt and knowing what she knows about Asmodeus, knowing about her experience with hags, she knows, I'll just, I'll just say, thank you, Ellis, for trusting me with this. I know it's not an opportunity that is given to everyone and I know some would kill for it, but I, there are other powerful beings out there as well. And some will help for free. And maybe I'll find them and maybe I won't, but I... I I can't do this. Of course, I understand. It's a hard choice to make and not everyone is capable of doing so. Come, sure. let's leave. Fucking Asma, babe, are you kidding me? They begin to walk you out. And with that, we will take a quick break we will be gone for just 10 minutes. And when we come back, we will your continue our story. Uh, <laughs> so don't go anywhere. Uh, ba, 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 Remember one when we got married earlier? <laughs> hey, hey, everyone in chat who's been saying they need to go get a drink, I'm going to get one. You go get one with me. I'm gonna go get we'll a drink do it too. together. Remember when George tempted me with the death? Remember we had sweetness. We're married. We've been married for five years. Remember, Remember this. Remember how I have to go tell my husband? Um, go get your treats. Maybe get some snickerdoodles not made by Nissa. We'll um, be right back, guys. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> yeah!
So hey. they complained about the Cirque Sofei <laughs> transition. Why'd you give us the no, Grim Domains one? I was one. complaining about the devil, not the transition. Hey. Well, you go. I gave you the Grim Domains I one. I don't like that as soon as you use the Grim Domains intro, fucking Stormbeard appears in chat. Chris, go away. I love you, but go away. We wanted the yay. Oh, I and Vanessa? Hello. Hi, Vanessa. Hello, my loves. Dante. Hey, go away. Yeah, that's You've cool. arrived at the yawning portal where you have agreed to meet Nissa. Yeah, it's, um, everyone, you know, every week we have date night because, you know, I like to take Nissa out on a little special dinner every night. I'm there too, right? Mm. Dante. I hope. Who is that? It is Dernan. How does he know me? The proprietor. Oh, oh okay. I assume I know him a little bit. He, he has a pretty good eye for people and names. Note for you. Mm. Slides it across the bar. There's a note from Nissa letting you know that she might be late. That she had to meet with Ellis in the City of the Dead. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna say that he's pleased to read this note. I'm sure there is some happiness at looking at his wife's handwriting and you know, knowing that she is like, okay, she left me a note. And this is normally good about this. Like she always leaves him a note if she thinks she might even remotely be late, which usually she isn't. Um, but he'll sit just because I think like I said, Nissa is not normally late, even when she thinks she might be. Mm -hmm. So he'd probably give it 20 good minutes before he even worried about her. Um, call me a bad husband, but I, I don't know. He just, he, he believes eh, 20 minutes, that's unlike her. So he'll, he'd probably sit for a good 20 minutes, maybe sit at the bar, um, order a few drinks, you know, just to pass the time. Um, I'm sure there are quite a few regulars here that he gets to see, so he's not upset to wait. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, I'll just sit at the bar and wait. If you'd open a tab, that would be great. Mm -hmm. Elsewhere, as you are exiting the City of the Dead... Oh, I meant to ask... Your husband, what was his name again? Why? I was just curious who was so lucky. Oh. Same as Dante. That's Dante. It. It's a good name. Yes, he's a. Uh, what is the title of the Griffin? It's just the Griffin Rider? Or what is the Griffin it? Riders, yes. He's a Griffin Rider. She says a little smugly. <laughs> Really now? He's part of City Watch. He is. And he's quite good at his job, and that's why I'm doing my best to protect him. I'm sure you can understand as we've made hard decisions as well. Yes. It would be unthinkable for a man such as that to make the deal you were just offered. He's better than I am. He wouldn't have thought of it twice. Well, we'll see. When I tell him you have died. And I need you to roll what? initiative. Like, what's your husband's name so I can let him know he's a widower? <laughs> no. <laughs> so I can let him know your his wife's fucking dead. Are you kidding me? I'm just sitting at the bar you. getting drunk. I rolled a four. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a bad time. I don't even know how to do this. Hey, chap. Maybe I need to make another drink. Uh. Okay. You make me make a deal with the fucking devil. Four for Nissa. Let's see. Wait, maybe I should have leveled up Artis. <laughs> I'm only level four. Uh, he. What's your dexterity? Two. 
roll your initiative one more time. Okay. Because he also rolled a four. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, that's with your modifier? Yeah. He rolled a 14 plus two, so he does get oh, to go first. He rolled one high. Yep, that's how it goes. Uh, Alice is going to turn suddenly. Um, <laughs> um, one moment. He turns suddenly this. and makes an attack against you. That is a 14 to hit. That's my AC. He hits you with inflict wounds. Wait. What? Wait, can I? Wait, reaction? What would you like to do as a reaction? <laughs> oh, and that's over revives him. <laughs> yeah, you are. Yeah, you are, honey. <laughs> because she was, that would be her first instinct. Unfortunately, the first hit. his new role is a nat 20. I'm not <laughs> going to give him the bonus. Wait, you see the one? Yes, I'm not gonna give him the bonus damage, so you're okay. fine on that end, uh, but he still does hit. You will have advantage on the next roll you have to make, however. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one moment, I need another D10. Another D10, why? I'm gonna die right now. He hits you for oh my God. Oh my God. 17 points of necrotic damage. No. I don't like this man. You feel a sharp pain pass through you uh, as he reaches out with his hand. And as he does, it's like claws form made of uh, spectral energy. And they pass through you dealing this damage. Uh, That is his turn. It is your turn. Sick. I am gonna, uh, I'm gonna cast uh, Tasha's Mind Whip on him, which is an intelligent saving throw. Okay, Tasha's Mind Whip, uh, what level spell is that? Two. Okay, go ahead, uh, let me just see real quick. Tasha's Mind Whip, uh, intelligence save you said? Yeah. He fails with a two. Cool. You know who else can do 14 damage? I can. (laughs) I'm going to do 14 psychic damage. Okay. And uh, he can also not, he does not get a reaction until the end of his next turn. And next turn, he only gets to choose one thing to do. Uh, Yes, move action or bonus action. Um, okay. So, so, wait, I'm not done. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. What else do you want to do? Um, I want to leave. You want to what? Leave. Run, honey, wait, is he run. blocking the door? Uh, yes. Or am I? Yes, he is blocking the door. You could run down into the tunnels, uh, no, back to where the cult no. was. Uh, yeah. otherwise, you see past him is the graveyard. Uh, it looks like he is hoping to kill you here and then shut the crypt up. Uh, leaving you trapped inside. Uh, So moving past him uh, would be considered difficult terrain, uh, but you can do that uh, if you want. It would cost you an extra five feet of movement to move through him. Um, I'm gonna... He will, once you get past him though, he does get an attack of opportunity. No, he doesn't because he doesn't have a reaction, right? That is true. Yes, you're absolutely right. That's why I did it. Not the mechanics queen. Five, (laughs) 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 gets you there. Is that your movement speed? Yeah, yeah, 30. Um, So I lose five feet or how much do I lose? Uh, You only lost five feet. Uh, oh, but you're okay. you're fine. That's that's thirty okay. gets you there after that's cool. used up. And then last thing, bonus action, I'd like to cast my little healing frog spell, <laughs> um, for <laughs> three hit points. <laughs> okay, uh, you can do that. You heal yourself three hit points. Got that's it. All, that's all. I, I need got. you to roll a d twenty twice. <laughs> okay, twice. Those are a 15 and a 5. 
a 15 and a five. Uh, give me one moment, just double checking. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, yeah, you're fine. You run out. Uh, no wild magic is triggered by your two spells. Uh, as oh, a response running. to that. Can, oh no, can we I forgot. Scream? As she's running, I don't know if there's anyone nearby, but like as she's running, can she just be like screaming, like just shouting or whatever? Just trying to grab. Dude, draw scream her. fire or something. I don't know. You scream. Uh, as you do, your scream echoes, and because the sun has just set, many people have left the city of the dead due to Honey. the wide belief that the undead ghosts and stuff like that do come out at night um as you are running i need you to go ahead and on your turn or on uh, his turn i need you to make a wisdom saving throw okay that was almost really good and then it wasn't it's a seven you suddenly as you're running <laughs> stop moving as you feel a force come over you binding you in place you look it looks like there's red spectral chains holding you in place you are unable to move you uh, are hit by hold person and are considered paralyzed uh, at the end of each of your turns so your turn's coming up yeah. uh, you can't move is there anything else you want to do um yeah, I mean, if she can't, if she realizes she can't move forward anymore, can you, I, I can, you're can I like turn so, enough? Oh wait, I can't do anything, right? Yeah, I you're paralyzed. Even... You, okay. uh, uh, I don't think I have, her. wait, can't move or wait, speak. wait, sorry. Can I do something on my wisdom saving throw? That's a new sorcerer thing that I'm not used to. Can I, I, can I, can I do tides of chaos to give me advantage on that wisdom saving throw? And then you get your wild magic back and you can fuck me up again. So once, you absolutely once per can long do rest, that. I, I want to let you know, it. Tides of Chaos yeah. means that, so when you roll a spell, yeah. you have to roll a d20. If you roll a one, wild magic happens, right? Yeah. When you use Tides of Chaos, a wild magic will happen whenever I say it does. You don't have to roll a, d a d20. Do you but understand the cost for that? I have to be casting a spell for it. It's not just spontaneous. Like it, it'll be when I cast something, right? No. With the wild magic, it can happen anytime. It'll at be any time? whenever I want it to be. Really? That's not. How yes. I uh, you gain advantage on attack roll, ability check, and saving throw. Before you regain use of this feature, the DM can have you roll on the wild magic table. At, oh, yeah. so it says after you cast a first level spell or higher. Okay. So yes, if you want, go ahead. Roll advantage on that saving throw for wisdom. This is going to make her regret her decision right now. Please, 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 please work for making me use that. Please, 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 please. Yes, it's an 18. 18 is enough. You are able to move. Uh, give me one second. Um, okay, so uh, you are able to move. It's your turn. If you want, you can cast a spell at him. You could run. What would you like to do? Um... Ooh, um, how, I guess, what's the distance to get, like, like, how far am I into this, like, where's the closest gate, the closest 70 exit? feet away is the closest gate that would get you outside into, uh, trade wards. You're not sure if he would pursue you into trade wards. Okay, well, it's in the, he's still in, okay, Ooh, okay, um, uh, instead of dashing, I'm gonna try to do this, she's just gonna use... You can do the one. Fuck it. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. She's gonna do the same thing. She's gonna cast Tasha's Mind Whip again on him, and then run for it instead of dashing. So an intelligence save. Okay. Again. You turn. He has to make an intelligence save. Uh, that is a, a fifteen. Oh, it does not pass. It's sixteen. I forgot that I had advantage on the wisdom saving throw too, didn't I? To my silver barb. Uh, yeah, you could have. So I, I guess I still have advantage, but I don't need it because this is just. Yeah. Okay, well I'll have it on the. If he hit, manages to hit me again, I would, but I don't think he'll be since he's inside. Um. So that does. Oh, sorry. I just closed it. That does. 
Um, 10 psychic damage. Okay. God, I'm gonna ruin our day night. And then he, same thing, he doesn't have a reaction, he only gets one choice next turn, and then I'm gonna dash, or not As dash, As you cast run. this mind whip, I would like you to roll oh, a no. d100. Honey. Yeah, I get to see why. Honey. I don't like um, this I'm not having a good time anymore. That means that my actually. actual spell doesn't go up, right? No, like it it's does. It's gonna be whatever. It, oh, it does. Okay. Um, it's, <laughs> it's 73. <laughs> Watch me cast fireball myself. One moment, one moment. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know what's on the chart. George has a special chart. You make a deal with Esmontaean. <laughs> As you do this, suddenly all of the flowers around you bloom. And you hear a soft singing what a beautiful night! What a beautiful night! And you see a small mushroom singing amongst oh. these graves. We're back, baby. Can I, can I pick him up as I run? <laughs> you want to pick him up as you run? Yeah, if I, if I, like, if I can't, I'm not going to go out of the, if it's like back the other way, I wouldn't, but if I could just go up as I run. Give me a athletics <laughs> check. No, that's not good for me no more. That's my Do you have advantage? True. Oh, oops, I didn't roll advantage, but um, should I roll my advantage? It was a thirteen. I guess I should. I should just. I should just roll it because it doesn't matter. I'm gonna win. <laughs> it's the thirteen. Okay, you managed to run. You almost slip in mud, but you're able to pick up this mushroom. Hello. It says as you pick it up and start running. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 gets you there. Um, he, let's see. So he only gets one thing and he can't see me from in there. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yes, he continues running. Uh, that is his turn. Um, and that brings us to your turn again. Oh, I do need you to roll a d20, though. Because oh. you still casted a spell. So you could have caused two wild magics. Five again. Okay, you're fine. So, it's okay. your turn now. <laughs> okay. Um. I. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm just looking at my. You abilities. are 40 feet I from totally the exit. Know. Oh, eh, if I'm 40 feet. And he's 20 feet behind you. I think I'm gonna dash then in this time. I'm just gonna, cause that'll do, it's, that's just double, right? So 60 feet. Wait, I'm, how, 70 feet? Yes, or no, no, uh, uh, you, you, it's it's 40 feet it's away. 40, so 30 feet, feet okay, gets yeah, you, yeah. and then dashing will get you yeah, 20 yeah, feet yeah. out the I exit. Get, I wanna get out into the streets and that she's still calling for help like, like guards anyone okay you rush out he gets his full turn 5 10 15 20 25 30 he races to catch up to you putting him 50 feet from you one moment one moment you're frozen george oh i'm oh one moment your camera yeah thank you for that I um cast person <laughs> Yep, she cast hold person on my I'm camera. George. It was super effective. Dante, I'm on my way. Honey, I'm gonna be drunk at the bar by the time we get here. Honey, you're gonna wanna be drunk for the story, I have to tell you. Honestly, he'll probably be more pliable at that point. <laughs> he won't be upset if he's already far too Ooh. gone. Okay. My camera's out for the meantime, uh, but let's just finish this combat and I'll fix it while you guys talk. Give me one moment. The voice of the um, So yeah, we said that you were 50 feet away. Yeah. Um, what you got for me? Uh, 
He's gonna hit you with hold person again. Actually, yeah, he's gonna hit you with hold person again. This motherfucker. Uh, we'll show him a hold person. Okay, shit, I can't silver barb that because it's a save, right? I can only do that for attack rolls. I believe right? so. Okay. Uh, wisdom? That's wisdom? Yep. <laughs> I'm outside already. <laughs> oh my god, it's a 12. How, how far are you from the, the place where we're having dinner? A 12, you said? I don't know how far I am from there, yet? but... I'm outside the gates of the city of the dead. I'm about to be forced into a deal with the devil. I a 12, like you it. said? Yeah, it's only a 12. A 12 is enough to save. Uh, <gasps> so, uh, as a bonus action, he is going to cast his last second level spell slot. Yeah, do it. Do um, it, bitch. One moment, one moment. Do it, I'll silver bar you. <laughs> um, do it. Hmm, 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 hmm. Bet you won't. Uh, he goes ahead and... Okay. Which which uh, bolt is this bitch? Just kill them. Electricity every turn. Um, where is the thing? There it is. Do, do, do. He Cal summons a spectral oh, scythe for real. to attack oh, you. Oh my! I don't like that. Uh, as he does. Uh, I would like you, uh, or he's going to make an attack roll. That is a 15 to hit. Silvery barbs. Uh, Dude, okay, that's my silvery girl. barbs. And it misses. The blade narrowly misses you as it swings. Uh, with that, 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 right you, uh, that brings us to your turn. Oh, roll a d20. Honey. <laughs> Keep this is a bad. Me. This is a bad night. I feel like <gasps> it's a one. Honey, roll a d100, please. Honey, maybe it's gonna help. Honey, I... maybe it's not. Honey, what if it? Honey, honey. I, in the seventies again. Seventy-one. That might be oh. the same exact thing. I might get another mushroom. You might get another <laughs> butterscotch. I'm just collecting mushrooms. <laughs> we just have a bunch of plant babies, and I'm fine with that. Yeah. Practice. Okay, give me one moment. You hear music begin to play. The music sounds like this. Nope, not quite. Not like that. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Do I know this? Uh, it sounds like... I have a feeling. This is a little too menacing for me right now, too, though. No. You what hear that fuck? music off in the distance. Oh my god. It feels god. like it's surrounding you everywhere. This is a bad time to have. Give me a wisdom saving throw. I have advantage. I have advantage with her. This is bad. I don't like this anymore. Okay, I'm gonna use my advantage because that was a seven. <laughs> That's a fourteen. Uh, oh, okay, I'm back, but blurry. One second. I oh god, I'm so triggered. No oh, hey, god, I'm just good. blurrier. I'll fix that in a moment. I, li I like this blurred version. It's actually of more terrifying. <laughs> it, it is. It is giving an effect right now, George. Uh, you're like a, a fan. You're like so a fan. frustrating. Okay, but uh, we'll fix your so what was your save? Fourteen. Fourteen. You manage to resist it, but continue running as you flee out of the graveyard. Uh, do you do anything before you leave? Is that? Can I just clarify? Is this? Is this the Witchlight Carnival? Like, it what is. is this music? It is the music of the Witchlight Carnival. This is a bad time. 
Is it real? Oh, what have I done? Honey, have you found the witch-like carnival um, here? Can I... Uh, blah, 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 blah. How... How... What is my distance from stupid Alice? Uh, one moment. Stupid. He he's is still a within shot the gate, right? thirty feet. And of he's you. ugly, right? Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's within yeah. thirty feet of me. Yes. I'm gonna witch bolt him <laughs> because fuck this guy. Um. Oh, wait. Did I, was that the roll? I'm so confused. Uh, a d20, so natural 20 plus 8 is 28 to hit. Oh, so to, it's gonna be... for a witch bolt? Yeah. Natural 20 hits, roll damage. Um, it's going to be 20 lightning damage plus 13 critical lightning damage, so 33 lightning damage. Roll Bitch. Okay. Don't yell him. <laughs> He's not down yet. It's an 11. 11. He is blasted backwards. He falls on top of a gravestone, a gravestone, and you hear a loud crunch. Oh, I hope oh. you killed him. Oh, I hope you killed him. Oh, no, him. I just killed a man. That's okay, honey. Wait. Oh, no, I'm the law. <laughs> he was That's trying fine. to kill me. You did it in self-defense, my friend. Oh, my God. She's never killed anyone in this life. I Moment. Trying to get my camera back up. This music is making me so anxious. This is doing something to my psyche. <laughs> like, I, I actually like. have chills. This is. Okay. Yeah, honey, With I that, know we, we've only been here a few years. We gotta go. You race we into what? the yawning portal. <laughs> I think the gods are punishing George for doing such a horrible thing to us. <laughs> You may not be perceived ever again, good sir. Yo. Oh my god, we're together! Look at- oh, I've been waiting to see this art That's together. Right. I just killed one of the devil's servants. Oh my god, honey, you're so hot. With he was that, right. He said he wasn't going to make it to 99. You are out of combat. You run into the yawning portal, that music so trailing off behind you. <sighs> and you see Dante waiting for you. Dude, I'm- Dude, I'm at the bar having a good fucking time Dude. waiting for my wife. She's, um... How late she, is she? she? Good question. Uh, she's only, like, that 15, only took, like, an 20 hour. minutes late. But okay. also, she's lost, like, for... For, in theory, for, for reference, she's lost half of her health, so she's probably not, like, you looking... You beat up? Great. Like, she's, she's ruffled. You got maybe any blood not, on you? Maybe not like super bloody, but there probably is like you dirty. Yeah, probably she's just in a crypt. And wait, I'll, I would like to point out that she threw away the the, the cultist robes as she was leaving. Yes. She doesn't show up enough. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm or actually, you know what? Can I hold up? Can I like keep it? She she didn't throw them away, but she took them off. But she's still like clutching this like black robe in her hand. She doesn't have a mask or anything, I don't think, but. She's just, okay. um, and she's out of breath, and she, like, practically, like, tumbles into your arms. Tumbles into my arms? Yeah, like, looking for trying to get to you. Alright, um, probably sitting at, oh, I was sitting at the bar, probably hit you in one arm, put, drink down another. Hello, my love, you look frazzled. Did we wake up today? Am I awake? Are we awake? Is this real? He probably takes a second, but knows that this is a thing they go through often. That, am I right? She asks I mean, often, is this real? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so kind of, it takes him a second because he's a little buzzed, you know, he takes a minute, just like a, ah, oh, wait. Yes, this is real. We're here. We're at our dinner date, remember? No, 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 no. Like, she, I think she can hear it in his voice that he's like being a sweet husband and he's, he's doing he's like baby, the thing huh? he always does. Like, yeah, he's, he's always baby. like, yes, it's okay. No, no, no. Like, something. You really want to sit down? Happened. Do you want to sit down? We need to. Can we, can we? Can we go home? Can we? Or somewhere else? Somewhere else? Somewhere? Somewhere quieter? Is the 
Or like even, even like even... a glass of ale, a glass of ale. Fill me a glass of ale. What the fuck is that? She just she pulls it like out of her little pocket and she just like turns to it like, hey, hey little guy, um, uh, we're gonna sing later, okay? Um can you just I just need to talk and then we're gonna find you home. Mom. I have a really nice home and I'm gonna show it to you later, okay? No. You've brought home another little thing to take care of. And yes. she puts it, she puts it in her bag. Um, not, not like trying to hide. It, like, yeah. yes, I found this. I, okay, I, I met up with Ellis, and everything went really bad. I, I know you didn't want me to, but it was all fine. Nothing was weird about it, and he was, he, he had information that was supposed to help, and. Mm -hmm. And then he tried to uh, induct me into a cult, and then cult? when I said no, he tried to kill me. And kill I, you? Um, shh, shh, shh. I'm sorry. He's dead. He's dead. He tried to kill me, and now he's dead. I killed him. He pulls you in close, like a. He knows that they sh We should not be shouting about this, like a. You killed him. He tried. He tried to kill me. You don't. You don't have to justify yourself to me. I know. Nissa, you no, 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 no. It's fine. You don't have to tell. No. He got what he deserved. I know that. He would have said that if he hadn't done anything. No, I wouldn't have. Either way, where is his body? Where is it? He's, he's in the city of the dead. Well, we need to take care of it then. Before a member of the guard finds it. There was no one there when I left. Well, I mean, we need to go now. I know the watch rotation, so we should be fine if we leave now. The last thing we need is... Let's just go take care of it. What happened to your test? Did you pass? I... Yes, honey. Let's talk about me later. Let's deal with this first. Okay. Okay. Hey. 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 He gives a little kiss to her forehead. Pats her hair down, like, because it's probably a smidge rough. She's trying to, just... like... <laughs> it's okay. It down. It's all right. It's scary. I know. But we'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. That's what we do, right? It'll be all right. What is the worst case scenario? I know that helps you, thinking through things. What's the worst case scenario? Let's talk through it. Um, I go to jail for the rest of my life? No, no, I'm, that's not the worst. He worshiped the devil. So maybe the devil comes to get me and takes mm -hmm. me away. And then okay. I do that for the rest of my life, but then even after my life, because it'll be for all of eternity. All right, so. No, because uh, I don't know what his arrangement was with this, um, devil. But one, you wouldn't go to jail because we have a perfectly good case. You killed him in self-defense. That's easy enough. Two, um, uh, he serves the devil, yes? Okay, yes. She, like, whispers. I think mm -hmm. she doesn't even finish it. I think she kind of, like, whispers, okay. like, half of the name. He resides in the Nine Hells, right? So, if anything, I'm sure he's happy that his servant is in the Nine Hells with him. You did him a favor. Don't think he'll be after you. Right? Isn't See, that's the worst case scenario, and we've already figured it out. Isn't it worse if we hide it? I have an idea. Okay. Um... Let me pay my tab, and then we will leave. Did she, like, finish whatever's left of Dante's drink? He will obediently hand it to her. He's not even going to fight it. Just a, here you go. Finish the drink I'm about to pay for. Making this a little bit easier for you both. Yeah. You head out, oh, leaving the tavern. God. I didn't think this would end in covering up a murder, but here we are. I didn't and think it would And as you head out that. into the streets... Before you can get to the city of the dead, this is uh, 
he is Bob. found by a magister. I am a rich light colonel. The trial, yeah, by a magister. The trial is quick. The magister what? decides right there on the street that this was lawful self-defense. I mean, look at her. As She's on so this small. man, they find uh, memorabilia of the cult of Asmodeus. It's an open and shut case. Don't Furthermore, worry. it's quickly swept under the rug as this was a noble member of House Amkathra. Yeah. So not something that many people want to be publicized. The Magister yes, reassures you that you will not be facing any jail time. But obviously don't trifle with things like this again. Um, however, uh, they will be sending over a member of the Watchful Order to speak with you tomorrow about your oh, use no. of spells. Oh, no. no. How did they know? Oh, God. No. Because Honey. there's scorch marks on his body. We talked about this. What was no I magic. supposed to do? He was trying to kill me. He would have followed us. You should be traveling around with your bow. Around the city? Yes. Have I not told... Do you not listen to me at dinner when I talk about all the horrible cases I go through every day? I don't know if it would have been enough. I don't practice as much as I used to. And well, you should the start. spells that I cast did a number on him. Clearly. Note the electric hole in his body. Well, I can't really fix this problem. I can't keep you from them. Do you understand why this upsets me? I can't keep you from the Watchful Order. I... It's not your job to. But... Yes, it is. I swore to protect you. It's fine. They're not going to do anything to me. I'll just be on a list if they need people and it'll it'll be it'll be fine maybe up. someone can even help me through that we can't I mean it's not like we can just leave we'll do whatever we need to do if they put you on some list or worse try to imprison you put you in a tower Anything? We're leaving. I mean that. Immediately. But you fought so hard to get to where you are. I don't care. I do. I... It doesn't mean anything. The... None of it means anything if we're not together and happy. You can make a difference doing what you're doing, and maybe I would make a better difference if I was locked up in a tower. No, you wouldn't. It's not like a, It's not like you can't be there to come visit. Me. I'm not going to visit my wife in a tower. You'll be at home at our home, where you should be. And if that's not a possibility, then we will leave this foul place. And we'll go somewhere else. There's a million other cities I could, we could find work at. It's no problem. Okay? Okay. I'm not above throwing it all away. If that means... <laughs> Nothing is worth losing you. Nothing at all. Nothing. Okay? You can't lose me. If you're locked in a tower, you... I will. Yes. No matter what happens, you can't lose me. Exactly, because I'll leave. Maybe it'll be fine. Maybe, maybe um. I. Nothing. Nothing bad happened. There was. There is no. No the suits, of, ar no suits of armor came to life, or no fireballs, or nothing. Everything was totally under control, um. and there's no way to prove that, that I couldn't control it. So, it, it's fine. It'll be, it'll be fine. I'm not saying it won't be fine. I'm just saying that the Watchful Order is coming to our house tomorrow. 
They're just... He kind of scrunches his nose a bit, like, he does not respect them, he does not like them. He thinks they're kind of pieces of shit. You probably, she probably already knows his opinion on the Watchful Order, so he's not gonna say it. They'll look for any reason to... ...condemn you. That's all I'm saying. We're from a small town, it's not like they have posters up that tell you to join or something. Like, it's not, I don't know how- We've I been here for five them. years. I don't, but, but it's not like we would necessarily know. <laughs> you think you're gonna play the naive housewife? Is that what you think you're gonna do? You. Maybe I can bake mm. them something. Honey. That works on a lot of people. Mostly me. But I don't know if that'll work on the Watchful Order. They're called the Watchful Order for a reason. You being adorable is not going to help that. Are you sure? I'm not the Watchful <laughs> Order. So I'm not the right person to ask. Well, whatever's going to happen is going to happen oh. tomorrow morning. I'll kill him. But tonight is still an important night for you both. Celebration! Day. Um, if we're just sitting in our house right now... I don't you're think you're home. sort of walking in yeah. Castle Ward. You have the option to go home or you could do something else. No, please, please don't let... What? I just want to forget about what happened. I know we can't, but just... Just just tonight, please. We have to celebrate. You did something huge. People don't just make it into the... Please. But she's like kind of trying to drag him for the date night activity. <laughs> so you wouldn't rather go home. What else are we going to do tonight? We're going to go home anyways. We might as well go have fun before. And you mean that? Yes. You lie? <laughs> I'm trying to lie to myself to convince mm. myself. What do you actually want to do? Be with you? Well, that's gonna happen either way. So I might as well not be stuck with our thoughts. At least... Mm -hmm. Well, what would you like to do tonight, then? We can go home, we can sit. Um, relax. Uh, I can... Uh, fuck, what does he do? <laughs> Shit. I was like, we could go home, watch a TV show. That doesn't exist. What the fuck? I think, um... Yeah, well, we go home and look at our oh, plants. Like, go home and, uh... <laughs> um, uh, uh, what, what does, um... Uh, Go home, um... Dante, you had plans for the night. You could choose to follow those up. I did. Or, alternatively, if you guys want, you can blow off some steam. You know a few places where you can go fight people <laughs> in a more organized that. fashion. That is uh, not what I meant. That is oh. not what Nissa meant. Oh, alternatively, okay. you guys oh, okay. could go home and call it a night. Up to you. Okay, so options. You like those. Let me lay them out. And then you can choose. We could go home. I can... Let's see. I know this is nothing special. I can do all the laundry, wash the dishes, uh, rub your feet, sing you a song while I do all of it. Or um, we can go out to this um, nice place I was passing while I was patrolling Castle Ward. Um, very pretty, lots of silks, lots of, um, very scantily clad ladies and men. Um, I think you would enjoy the, uh, fashion taste. Uh, <laughs> or we could go to something a bit more rugged. We could go to, um, I know you like to watch me, uh, Fight. He looks a bit like maybe she likes this. I don't know. I she... think I've had enough fighting for tonight. <laughs> um. Either way, uh, we could. Um, 
go drink ourselves into a silly stupor. Um, we could go I to like a local options two and four, and I think we should do them both. You didn't choose the option where I do all the household chores and sing to you. No, you just we're celebrating you, and we're gonna go. You're gonna go home and work. Oh, I was just an option. Please. Please, let's go out. I don't, <laughs> okay, don't okay. want to think about tomorrow. I don't want to think about tonight. Okay. I think we should just go do what we were going to do. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's it. Okay. You just, all that's happened today is I learned a little bit about my magic. And you did something incredible and are successful and strong. And we're going to go celebrate that. Okay, I like this. The prize is nice. Um... Sure, let's do that then. Um, option, what was it? Two? Option two, yes. Let's go with option two then. And then if you decide you would like to go into option three, those two do, uh, do conjoin quite nicely. Oh, that's okay. Just two and four. Two and four. Two and four. Fun and drinking. That's right. That was four. Not yeah, the like, fighting. Wait. Skip the fighting. Skip wait, the not the fighting. Not the fighting. No, no fighting. No fighting today. That's right. Okay, two and four. Dante, you that. find yourself in a rare mood. What's my rare mood? Oh my I love a rare Dante Not mood. A mood. Not a hashtag rare Dante mood. While <laughs> it was a very stressful ordeal that Nissa went through, and she was clearly mm -hmm. quite frazzled afterwards. She uh, was a bit frazzled, but at the same time, you were actually kind of excited by the whole thing. It's Side stressful and worrisome about the watchful order coming, but at the same time, <laughs> this was at least fun. It was exciting. Something, something could happen. And that's more than what's been happening. Like, you go <laughs> and you go on a long stroll uh, it's a pretty long stroll. Uh, it involves some walking through nature. Uh, oh, Nissa, you're a little bit dismayed because it's a little bit of an incline and you dressed a little nice and it's, yeah, look at that little dress she has. He's I've been really, I've been, I've been running all night. <laughs> he's really making you work for it. This is, it's a, it's a late night. I love uh, and it, he, it's like he's going for a late night hike. That's good. That's so much good so that I need you both to make con saving throws. Okay. Good distraction for me. That's gonna be a six. I'm tired. I'm, I still have half my health. I have a dirty <laughs> 20. Carry me. <laughs> I was gonna turn around and offer actually, if you'd like me to. Roll uh, at a disadvantage then, Dante, just one more time. Since you yeah, sure. helped carry Nissa part of the way, well, I gotta offer D George. Of course. Um, of course, never to make her feel inadequate, because oh, he would she's, never do. She's passing out. Because he would never do that. He's like, dude, my wife needs the help, mm -hmm. <laughs> and also it's polite. Just kind of, maybe slows down a bit, because also longer legs. Um. I know that struggle um, of having the small leg. It's me and Momo walking around. Everyone. It's a dude. When, when me and May walk around together, me running, May walking. Um, it's that energy. Um, so I, in my fantasy self, I'm slowing down for my wife. Um, and just, he kind of hangs back a little bit and not even in a condescending way, but just truly in a genuine, like lifts hand out, just kind of, to complete the, uh, you know, full experience of the night, would you like a lift? So I inclines his head towards you. <laughs> just smile, just charming smile, dimples out and all. Are, are there a lot of people around? No. <laughs> okay. Oh, then. does that affect it? Oh, absolutely, because if there's oh, a lot of people around, she'd be like, mm, no, I'll just die, I guess. Die. But, but if there's no one around, then she'd... She'd let him, she'd let him sleep her up. 
Okay, I'll put her on my back. Okay. You now give her a her. piggyback ride, and Nissa, you find yourself... You've never been here before. Um, you met Dante's commanding officer, but you have never been here before. Uh, as you guys both arrive at the top of Peak Top Airy. Uh, ba 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 You guys find yourselves here. Sneaking in. Oh, this is invisible. There we go. You guys find yourself here. There are guards on station. Uh, but fortunately, uh, it is a pretty slow night. Both of you make stealth checks. Are we actually sneaking in? <laughs> My stealth isn't what it used to be. Same. <laughs> we used to be the sneakiest couple. Remember when we were sneaky? Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Can I cast guidance on my... I'll cast guidance on myself. <laughs> so sure. It's 10 plus. Uh, Roll a d20. A can, no, it's a cantrip. Fuck you. Oh, you're right. It's a cantrip. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Hey, I I um crit missed. It's a two, baby. <laughs> oh wait, and you're carrying me, aren't you? So I'm carrying you. Wait, oh well then. Well, no, I would have even if I cast guidance on you instead of me, it wouldn't make a difference. You guys creep I'm up. Not selfie tonight. I got an and are able to uh, break We're into the stables. Uh, you guys make some noise as you find <laughs> cinnamon. Oh my god, cinnamon! My, That's my girl. My, girl. <laughs> my other girl. All I have is girls, dude. Um, uh, cinnamon waiting in their pen. Uh, there we go. Oh my god, can I give her some of my scone? Fuck, I gave some of it to Ellis, that jerk. Yeah, he tried to kill me. Did he? That was his last meal. Because you weren't very stealthy, you guys are essentially fleeing as guards are calling, wait, stop, stop, as Dante <laughs> takes you on to cinnamon for a ride Dude, through get on the cinnamon. city. <laughs> you were just barely caught this guy. Well, apparently we're filling the city maybe sometime soon. So. I see Dante's still a hooligan in this line. You like it. <laughs> you guys go soaring over the city. Uh, it's, uh, it's nighttime, but even still, uh, give me one moment. Uh, ignore this art, uh, because what this art, art is going to be daylight. I'm going to show you one second. Uh, what, what, what are you talking about? This art is daylight, but, uh, much in the same vein, uh, as you guys are flying through the city, there are kids, uh, who actually see you flying through the sky and cheer with excitement Your at the ordeal. Wave. You guys Princess, fly through the ahead. city, uh, stopping by any fabulous location you want, uh, making a showy yeah. entrance on top of a griffin. Oh, and eventually you guys find yourself uh, having a romantic night uh, at Ooh. a wonderful place known as the House of Purple Silks. Yeah, I had to take her to the fancy kind of strip club. The oh, House of Purple Silks is one of the ro most romantic places you can go in Waterdeep. Uh, close to the Temple of Sune. Uh, oh, and, not the uh, oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> and oh, adored by many, you guys have a wonderful night there. Uh, drinks flow Something freely. Like uh, they have oh, they Boulder's Gate Pale Ale available. Uh, they oh, also have uh, Elver Quest, though it's quite expensive. Um, well, anything from my way. meat or something. Yeah, so you have, uh, if you want something more casual, you would have uh, 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 Golden Fields uh, uh, Ale. Golden Fields, it's not far mm -hmm. located out of Waterdeep, and it makes some of the finest uh, ale you can find in the region. Hmm. Sounds nice. Hmm. Whatever Nissa wants is what we'll have, of course. It has like a so. 
a, a cidery taste to it. Uh, but oh, it's, it's cider. It's very, it's Ooh. very good. Yeah. Uh, that sounds like what I would enjoy. I think. Mm -hmm. You guys have a Chris wonderful romantic evening. Is there anything special between the two of you you want to share? Yeah, Nessa. Tell me you have. She's trying not to like. I think she's feeling. I mean, she's trying to distract herself, but she's feeling a little bit desperate. Hence the need for the night. So I don't think she's trying to be the one to bring anything or bring that up or bring up tomorrow. So don't be does. Oh, you know I'm always down to be the one who brings up the serious shit. <laughs> you know I'm always down to ruin a mood. Um, <laughs> trying to leave town. Or maybe make the mood hotter. Um, we'll we'll see how she feels. I just want um, to point out that this art is only a few small revisions from being Remy and Cordelia. Just something hey, I'm noticing. Actually, shut the fuck up, cause you're right. Shut up. <laughs> um, like artists have a style. <laughs> actually, I'm. Oh no. Um, new art coming soon for all my ships. Um, so I think as they're having little drinkies and what is the entertainment that is available at this place, George? Um, just so I can get a, like a grasp, like fully. What, what do you do when you come to this place? George? There's fine music playing. Um, okay. Some people come here for companionship to meet other people. Some people come here to give each other that kind of companionship. There are private rooms. It's a great place to make out. It's a great place to make out. <laughs> nice. Dude, I can make out with my wife anywhere. That doesn't matter. Um, yeah, but in public, kind of hot. I don't know. Wait. In public? It's like public, but not public. Like, you yeah. have privacy here. That's no, why no. It makes, That's what makes it a little bit of a great place. It's like... It's like going to oh, a movie no, theater, the less, but more the romantic. Um, I would like a more uh, public spot. Mm -hmm. He would vie for a more public spot, actually. Well, if you want a more public spot, show, in that case, there's like I, silk, there's like I'd like more kind of, of a, a show, to be honest. Um, no, no, I want I, other people to have a show. And then there's like a dance. Isn't I assume there's like da there's like dancers and stuff. He's like a like a show. You guys kiss watch. some. You see some dancers, you hear some beautiful music, but Dante gets antsy and decides he wants something more of a show. Oh um, yeah, I, I think people I should see us. <laughs> Why are you saying it like that? Wait, also scared. Nissa is kind of like, not obviously, but she's been checking, I think periodically through the night to like make sure that they're not being like, Honey. trailed by cultists or anything. I would like to say that. I will kill a man. It would be I'll very be hard for cultists to find you yeah, when you're, you're on griffin. the back of a griffin and flying off into the sky and finding yourself a try. more romantic place to enjoy your evening as you find Andrew yourself <laughs> on the top of a statue of Waterdeep, the Honorable Knight. We leave. Fuck this place. <gasps> Let's make out up here. <laughs> we just go kiss everywhere in the city. <laughs> Him, you want to forget? Okay. Under the moonlight with the entire city seemingly below you, lit up Everyone's by the night sky. It's quiet. The air is peaceful up here. Other than a, the occasional scratch and f flutter of feathers from Cinnamon, uh, who is resting on the shoulder. watching. She's Cinnamon's waiting resting for her on the tree. shoulder. You guys are currently sitting on the head of the Honorable Knight. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, we got shit to do up here. We gotta, you know, maybe talk and stuff, and maybe kiss and stuff. So this is what you're gonna do with your new position of power. What? Kiss you on the highest standing statue in the city? Yeah. Do you think this is an abuse of power? I wouldn't call it an abuse. Well, what would you call it? Just trying to prepare myself for the future. Hmm. Well, we'll see if I keep this job after technically <laughs> taking the Griffin after just barely passing. 
You know, some uh, animals like to establish their dominance by choosing a higher vantage point. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. What are you trying to say? Nothing. Nothing. No. No. You make... No, of course not. Well, since this is the highest spot, I believe that puts us... What? <laughs> Just looking yes. at you. I would oh. say that. <laughs> what would the fuck was that? That was cinnamon. Um, Dude, cinnamon. Chill, we to... Also, is there like, do we see like a carnival? <laughs> Looking out over the city, you see no signs of any carnival. You looking for a carnival? Do I see you looking for a carnival? No, Trying she's to... just does, she does it like a casual, like ah, I'm looking at the view. But she's definitely she definitely is like scanning. Her, where the fuck's the circus? Like if she sees anything. Familiar. You don't see anything like that. No Love circuses. That. It's um, it's beautiful. Thank you for bringing me here. Of course, and I really did mean what I. Not that you didn't think that I meant it, but, um, if the Watchers do anything tomorrow, I'm ready to leave. Don't we have to make that decision before they do? Like, now? Well, how attached are you to your life here? You know, I only wanted to come here to try and figure out how to fix this she'll just like gesture to herself i don't i don't i don't care where we are i love red i love red large it's not like i wanted to leave but i don't want i don't want to hurt anyone you're not grab I don't, I don't know where her hands are but he will grab them you're not nothing about you needs fixing and you're not hurting anyone and you won't hurt anyone and even if you did we could fix it. Yeah? Hmm? Not, not if I hurt when them if the you way hurt, that I did tonight. When have you hurt someone? You killed someone tonight because they were attacking you. They were going to kill you. But before then, when have you hurt anyone, Nissa? You couldn't hurt a fly. Kind of strokes your, your cheek a bit, like, you're not capable of that. I don't know. The wild magic, it, it feels different. It's not, it's more raw. And mm -hmm. I'm, I don't know what it can do, but I'm afraid of it. Well then, clearly we've been here for five years and nothing that you found has helped. Maybe we should leave anyway. Maybe we need to go to somewhere else. Somewhere that could help you with your magic further. Maybe somewhere with the elves. Uh, they're very magically inclined, yes? Or anywhere, really. I'm not attached to a place. I'm attached to you. So we could go anywhere. Right? I like our house, but we could, we could make another home. Right. Yeah, we can't leave town. We can, if you want to, if we need to. Why can't we? Hmm? Give me three valid reasons. Three? Three. Yeah. Won't there be consequences? We've already broken, or not we, sorry. I've already broken the law by not telling them and or registering or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, is there no consequence? They won't follow us. I mean, they could certainly try. I don't need you killing city I officials. I didn't say I'd kill anyone, did I? I said they could try. Doing whatever you're going to do to them. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just simply going to leave. Look, I, they won't care enough to what chase. What if we need to come back? What if we need to come here? What if one day I can go to the academy or someone 
more Black powerful. <sighs> Blackstaff Academy, dear, is not the pinnacle of all magic. There are plenty of other magical places of learning, okay? We can find another. Besides, they didn't even want to take you in in the first place. Who cares what they think? They're snooty. And honestly, the people they let in there, not exactly the most sane of mind, you know? <laughs> like, then they should have accepted me. Oh, hush. You're the most logical person I know. You overthink everything. Where are we so, going to go? Back home? No, there's a whole wide world. You're still on your list, right? Of three valid reasons? You haven't given me one yet. I've given you one. No, I don't think that was a valid reason. Well, you can say that to everything I say. No, I can't. Yes, you can. <laughs> you don't have any proof. So, um, valid reasons. I'm waiting. Your job? I can get a job anywhere. Easy. Yeah, but not one like the one you have. Not one where you can make a difference. Not one where you're of such high importance. Uh, not one where we can provide for our family. Easy. We don't have easy. a family yet. Yeah, it's just me I know. And you. I know. And we've made it by just fine, haven't we? Here. And we could do it anywhere else. We certainly didn't have savings back in Red Lodge. Well, we certainly have them now. Yes, because we're here and you're working the job that you are. That's what I mean. I haven't soiled I, See, you you're know. gonna say everything I say isn't valid. No, I'm just trying to give a differing perspective. You're... It's not like we have no money and we're paupers. I've saved money. I'm but not if we only... leave, we could be. Well We have well. a house. We can't raise a family on the road. Well then I guess we'll have to wait until we get a house again, huh? worry about waiting that long. Oh, it, a house isn't made by the structure you live in Nessa yes but we need walls to keep a family in at the same time even if it's just you and me even if it's just us in a stick that Morin gave us or whatever it is that is we will dig up the tree and we will bring it with us. We will go ask Morin for another if I have to. The point is, it, how many years did we spend wandering the forest together? As kids, we don't need a house to have a home. Not to say we won't have one, I would like one very much. And I would like to have a family very much, but I can't ver I, I can't have a family with you locked up. I can't have a family with you being watched by the order forever, can I? You come before any family because you are my family, my only family. Okay? Okay. So, do you have any more valid reasons? I do enjoy arguing. He's really? smiling like <laughs> he's not actually. He doesn't think he's arguing. That means he's you're arguing being a for shit. leaving, like tonight. I'm not opposed. I can leave tonight if we need to. It's a shame, though. The tomatoes did just come in quite nicely. I was hoping we could make a pasta sauce out of them. Hmm. Maybe Ethel would like them. My bad. The mean switch. <laughs> Not the flash. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe I pick the tomatoes before we go. Where else did you want to go tonight? Is this... I mean, this is a lovely end. If this is... Hmm, which... Eight. There's more... You were expecting more. I just am not wanting the night to end because I've had so much fun, you know, post the... Does the since night... I've, since I found you. Does the night ever end? Yes. We are together. It's kind of a forever agreement. Yes, but everything... Everything except for 
us if every moment ends, you know? Yes, but if we spend every moment together, then does it really end? Is this your way of telling me this is where the night ends? If you wanted to. It is quite late. I am a bit tired. I did get wa I did wake up pretty early, but I can keep going if you'd like. I won't leave you alone to your thoughts. I'll wait until you fall asleep if that's what you'd like. I think it's a bit cold up here. Chilly. Mm. Well, would you like to go home? Or would you like my cloak? You're offering to go elsewhere. I'll take your cloak. Hmm. We could go elsewhere. Or to stay out, I guess. Hmm. You are a fan of the water, aren't you? Yes. You want to go sit at the docks? <sighs> not how... I, I'm not sure how entertaining you find kissing, but I'm sure we could kiss at the docks and maybe the change of scenery would enliven you a bit. Is the... Are the docks? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm sure she feels safe with Dante, but aren't the docks kind of... A sketchy area? <laughs> I think they are, actually. Uh, th that is true. Uh, however... I'll, I'll kill a man if they come by. <laughs> I, I kill a man, you kill a man. We'll there kill is a, man. a spot known as Lover's Pier. Oh, well, that's us. We're lovers. And we're on a pier. Is that where the lovers go? I think so. I don't know. Maybe we should go and find out. <laughs> Got him. Uh, okay, yeah. Is that where you guys would like to go? Yes, sure. it says she doesn't want the night to end. It's it probably like a breeze. <laughs> well, well, maybe I equal know, breeze if we're on the water. Yeah, that's true. You might be just as cold, but he will still give you a cloak all the same if you are, um, if you are the chilies. Okay. Shook that all up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, we're already sitting kind of close. Don't worry, I'll shield you from the wind, BB. You guys head to the docks and enjoy the sounds of the ocean as you relax on Lover's Pier. Oh my! <laughs> now we're at the docks! <laughs> Got him. <laughs> you both have a long Good. night enjoying the sound of the waves and the stars up above. That ain't all. <laughs> uh, at some point, Dante drops you off at home. Uh, and, well, do you wait to return Cinnamon in the morning or do you uh, return Cinnamon tonight? Can Cinnamon get back on her own? That's uh, a random that's I'm a good point. Person. Yes, I would say you have that ability. You send Cinnamon home. Like a recall feature? Uh, yeah, the, the, it, it knows to basically go back to its roost. Um, you, <gasps> also, thank you for the ride. You send Cinnamon home as you guys call it for the night yourselves. Uh, after enjoying everything there is to see in Waterdeep, uh, trying to overcome the stressful ordeal you dealt with the day before, and you guys finally, the next day, wake up once again in your lovely home. George, middle of Castle Ward. Yeah. Um, I don't know how sleepy Nissa is before she goes to bed. But whether she's awake or not, I'm packing a go bag, dude. We met, I, he was very serious when he was like, if you want to go, we'll fucking run. Like, so I think before he goes to bed, he will pack a bag. Make a con saving throw at disadvantage. Oh, he's exhausted. He's so, I mean, I have been up since 5 a.m. and have been doing physical labor. So I get it. I do get it. Oh, it's a nine. I'm fucking tired, mate. Oh, the first one was a 20. Yeah, the other <laughs> one was a fucking 20. Oh, that's uh, sad. Dante, the morning comes and Nissa, you he's wake so up. sleepy to no, a knock at the door. I'm worried. 
He's sleeping uh, on the chair. One you moment. Know he is. One moment. Sad. You wake up to a knock on the door, and you find Dante is hunched over sleeping in a bag of luggage that he was preparing. Oh, like, baby! Like, got a bunch of stuff in a sack and just fell asleep on it. Oh, that's um, precious. I'm, oh God, and I'm indecent. Uh, what, one minute! Uh, Take your I, I time! Like, oh, who the uh, fuck is that? I, I like, I, I'm gonna shake down, I like, <laughs> like, they're here, they, they're here, and I need to like <laughs> dress really quick. What the fuck are you in? What, what? are you wearing? I was sleeping! What were you wearing? Nothing? A nightgown! Okay, I was- I just wasn't sure what Nissa wore to sleep. You, um, you didn't even sleep in the bed with me, I'm wearing a nightgown. I fell asleep in our fucking escape luggage! I- you, 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 Dante's probably still in his clothes, I guess. Oh yeah, I'm in my clothes <laughs> yeah. from the other day. Okay, Nissa, Nissa's gonna change. You, I'll- I'll slowly change. wake up. Uh, and you find a gentleman with a long mustache waiting for you at your door. Oh, who the uh, fuck is that? His name Hello. is Barnabas Blastwind. Oh, I'll blast that motherfucker out this house. And he is a member of the oh, Watchful yeah. Order of Mages and Protectors. Wait, Nissa, are you or are you opening this door? Maybe yeah. I should No, maybe yeah. I should open oh. this door. I'm 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 Griffin Rider, honey. You maybe guys argue and fuss. To Let what me open turns the door. out to be sure, not sure. a very big deal. Uh, as of course. They document your magical abilities and the incident that happened last night. Which are none. They advise you to show <laughs> self-control and restraint since you are infected with wild magic. And they give you infected. a 150 gold fine. Oh! Uh, that's a lot of money! money. <laughs> Most of that was due to late registry to <laughs> the Watchful Order of Mages. That's a lot of money. But fortunately, you did have money saved up. So. We did. It's like all of it. It's like almost all of it. Yeah. But otherwise, you guys are okay. Well, Dante, yeah, you have a member of the City Watch stop by and tell you that uh, your commander would like to speak with you, uh, Captain Rollins. Uh -huh. I'm so seems fucked, quite honey. upset. Wait, can, can I bring, bring him some pastry? Bring him some snacks. Wait, wait, can I ask a question of the man uh, with the watchful order? Yes. Barnabas Blaswin? Yes. Um, oh. sir. Mm. What is the um point of the registry? I'm, I know what they tell us, but is there, I mean, she, she can't control her magic some days. I, I, uh, I, but again, it doesn't happen often. I, I mean, what would you do Does to the poor thing? you of it restraint? It's not much of a big deal. Well, then, how does it help you if she's registered? Should she go flaunting about her magic and get someone hurt? We know who to find. Huh. I see. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. You know that Ellis was an unregistered user as well. I don't know if that's part of his family or just uh, him, but... Yeah, they, they, they take note of that. They thank you for letting them know. Uh, they say that they will look into the matter. They, uh, it also seems Ellis really overplayed how bad this would be uh, to upset the Watchful Order. They... Uh, unless you were smuggling magical artifacts, you are reassured. Uh, or if you were responsible for the death of innocent people. Uh, and even then, uh, wild magic is a thing that happens uh, so long as you are not carelessly and recklessly using it. Uh, um. Oh, go ahead, Nissa. I was going to say, I, if we could ask if there's any... I mean, is anyone in the Order able to to help or, or refer us to someone. We don't want to cause any problems, so if there's anyone who could help us... Or no, it's quite common, and it's a ailment that many have to struggle with. We advise that you just avoid magic where you can. Uh, that's, or if I may suggest... Uh, have you considered... Uh, 
Have you considered going to less populated areas? Yeah. What? Many people with such afflictions find a great opportunity on the roads as adventurers or explorers, things like that, uh, where they're unlikely to hurt innocent civilian centers. But how would... Sir, sure, surely you have other wild magic users you have registered, yes? Mm-hmm. How Most do they of them avoid magic as much as they can. Well, what about in the situations where they're threatened? She, I mean, she's a perfect All example. All the more she... reason to find yourself a comfortable home in a place like Fanderlin or Red Lodge. Uh, and how would one make a living in a place such as that? You, you are aware of the, the work we do, yes? I couldn't do the same work there. There is uh, guards in Red Lodge. Plus, uh, as I said, adventuring is quite profitable. You'll figure it out, young lovebirds. Wait, sir, uh, la last question. Could, how can I huh. avoid infecting anyone? Because is that infecting. by the magic use or infecting. is it just by proximity? Infecting? Yes, you've referred to it as an infection and I've been told that it can infect. Who told you that? Infecting? Someone who I shouldn't trust, I guess. Anyone telling you that kind of thing is probably trying to sell you something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. That mm -hmm. helps a lot. Thank you, sir. That motherfucker. Have a good one. Oh, uh, by the way, your mailbox is full. Mailbox? Oh. Yes, at the end hey. of your uh, at the end of your walkway, there is a mailbox. Okay, I will go check the mail room. It's a nice mail. Oh, I love mail. I'll go check the fan mail. mail? <laughs> I will check. Oh my god, it's fan mail. <laughs> it's asking for marriage proposals, but we're not available. The first letter. Mm -hmm. Hey, thank you. Yay! Oh my goodness. The dip. <laughs> oh, so cute. Oh Congratulations. Adorable. Sorry, we couldn't That's make it. so cute. <laughs> thank you. Don't worry. That was so well done. We were still happy you could make it anyway, even if it was late. Thank you. We send you a party favor anyway. With their concern yes. of the wild magic gone, uh, at least you're concerned about getting in trouble with the Watchful Order or anything like that, you do both Wait, rest George. easier. Yes, go ahead. I have a thing I need to say. What is it? Um, there was something that was mentioned that he feels like he needs to bring out. Okay. If, if there's a break in between guests, of course, like as soon as uh, Barnabas leaves. Barnabas leaves, grab, what would you like to say? And I, gr and I grab the mail. He comes back in. He probably like sets the mail down on the, like the kitchen table or whatever. Infected. I maybe was a little too eager to learn about wild magic from somebody mm -hmm. with experience like and connections. And it's not that I, I mean, clearly I didn't believe him, or I would have taken a deal with Asmodeus, wouldn't I? But, mm -hmm. he, it's better safe than sorry. It was just mentioned to me, and it seems like it's not an issue. At least, I know that's one less thing I have to worry about hurting me. Wait. Okay. Even if there was a risk of infection... I mean, what's the worst case? I happen to ha also have this weird thing that you have? That's not the worst. Yeah, and then we can just both blast each other. <laughs> I think we already did. some spell did. I've never heard of. Oh, shut the fuck Got him. <laughs> she says that. <laughs> next scene. Next <laughs> Um, either way, uh, look. You've already turned my hair half white, lady. Don't think there's much more you can do to me. No, there's certainly no other features. <laughs> yeah, I. It, it looks great. You look so good. Mm, this is very convincing. You're making me feel very. I mean, good I about hope myself. I don't cast more spells on you that affect you that way. But it, it I looks would great. Prefer not. I do like my hair, and I would prefer not more white hair if it's any of my choosing. Um, but clearly. Maybe I'll end up with all white hair, and then you'll just have to be stuck with me that way. 
I hope I am still stuck with you and you have all I hear. That's the idea. <laughs> that is the goal. Let's try and live that long first. Yes? Yes. Mail, right? We were looking through mail, I think. Yeah, before what's, we were our, talking what's our that? mail besides the lovely letter? Uh, <laughs> you have a letter from Court. And oh, Nissa, we do want to read that. You see another letter with uh, on its seal is just a unicorn. What? I don't like that. I, I'll, I'll take that one. Okay, Dante. Nissa hands you the letter from Court. Yeah, I'll read that one. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> okay, wait. Let me try and read this. Boo! Did I scare you? Probably didn't get Nissa, but Dante. I know you flinch. <laughs> it's been a while since we've last seen each other, but always know that the kids you made friends with will always be running next to you on every journey and trial you cross paths with. Dev and I hold down the fort in Red Large, and we are expecting another croaker soon. <laughs> Babies! That total... Sorry, I was counting. Five! It's hard for me to wrangle them sometimes, but Dev always knows when, where they run off to. We adopted two children around the village that had no family to care for them, and with my backstory, that tugged on my heart. I could stop crying about their situation until one night I returned home to see four chairs full of dinner. She said, Welcome home, warm light. Your new family has been waiting for you, and ever since, we've wanted to grow that special connection with two of our own. Sparrow and Wisp, short for Whisper, have my eyes and Dove's heart, along with a knack for sneaking out to... <laughs> lay on the roof and watch the stars. The other two we took in, Poppy and Clover. <gasps> Clover! Pretend they are royal protectors, uh, protectors of our own home. So every night when we come home, we must declare our business of why we are here to Poppy, who dresses up with antlers and blows a whistle that sounds like an elk, and Clover, who wears one of their mother's furry cloaks and roars as loud as a lion. We then must say their names along with a magical phrase to be let in to start dinner. Children and their imagination, am I right? Speaking of, when will we see little Nasantes running around? <laughs> Soon, Not we the hope. Ship name. Not the ship name. No you, dude, you know Court and Dove have a ship name for them. Um, Court, Court and Dove are number one Nasante fans. Um, Soon, we hope. All of this to say, we miss you terribly and hope that Waterdeep is treating you kindly. We love you and hope that the long blue scarf we sent with this letter finds you well. Your fellow friends and forever croakers, Courtney and Dove. And indeed, there is a long blue scarf uh, wrapped up with this package. Oh, he's Aww. got a big old smile on his face at this letter. It's such a sweet letter. He's so happy to read this. He puts and this aside for Nissa to read. The moment. next one, Nissa's reading. Uh-huh. Yeah. Should be reading simultaneously. Oh. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. Not me, not me reading who this is from. <laughs> not me reading who this is from. I'm sobbing. Okay, she would, ahead, she would look at the bottom, of course. Go okay. ahead, Nissa. Go ahead. <clears throat> Let me read it in my mind. Dear Dante and Nissa, I hope you don't remember me and that this letter may be a into a dream half imagined by a polite and perhaps too affectionate stranger. If this is the case, please allow this bay a moment of whimsy and fantasy and recall a moment in time with two dear friends. I miss you and life hasn't been the same without you. Even so, things in Prismere are wonderful. The journey we took was worth it and order has been restored to the Vilna's kingdom. By some miracle, even Sally was okay. She recently agreed to marry me, not that either of us are settling down. <laughs> we each have our trysts and adventures, but we are happy. It feels good to say that aloud. I'm happy. I think of you often, and all the mischief and mayhem we brought up together. Promises spoken, oaths sworn, and vengeance achieved. I couldn't have done it without you. Know that I have watched over you all these years, and witnessed your incredible growth into young adults once again. You've done well, and I'm so proud of you. Treat Micah and Morin well. I think they are hurting more than you. I don't think Micah ever forgot that swan ride and the look that Nissa gave him. The same one you give each other now. Give Dove a hug for me. 
cherish each other, remember to be kind to one another, and that love and friendship does conquer all. Your friend, now and always, spring morning sky, night of Oh no! Is that really what made me cry through this whole fucking uh... session? Was fucking Spring's letter? Oh, oh poor puppy. I hate the mail oh, time. <laughs> I hate mail time. This is not like Blue's Clues where it's a happy time to read the mail. I'm sad. But um, he. But Spring's happy. Dude, uh, and he Dove has. And Court are happy. They got BBs and they got another one on the way. So um, it should be now I tell you that uh, Sky and uh, Miri both wrote those letters. Uh, I as was well, hoping so. Tracy wrote her uh, toast. her toast her to you toast. at the wedding. Uh, not, the, not the canon guys, in love character. Love you guys, croakers forever. Do croakers and toadies forever? <laughs> um. I hand the um the court letter, the court and dove letter to Nissa, um, as she's reading the, the um, question is which one of you is adding a blue scarf to your uh, character designs? Charge your frozen again. Oh no! But, oh, okay, don't worry about um, it. Um oh god, uh I'll have to look you're at You're the my one who again. gets you're the one who gets cold, not me. I do get cold. I can maybe there might be a way to incorporate it. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna give it to, I don't know, our baby. Oh one my. day. <gasps> one day. Uh, Nissa, we have a letter from Court and Dove. I think you might wanna read it. Also, they've sent us a, another scarf. Do you add oh. to our collection of another scarves scarf. that they send us? Do they <laughs> send Maybe scarves they send often? Like three scarves. I feel like yes. Canon. Um, um, I can say yes, as I am Dove. Um, we do send scarves often. She'll read it and probably cry because it's been a little while. And they don't, I don't know. Like they always, of course they think of them every day, but you know, it's not. Um, we can't just text each other or anything. Are you looking a bit sad, one might say? Yeah, she's gonna be like, we should write them back. Um, I'll give a little, look. A little gentle. It's gentle. It's not a. It's not a harsh tug, but like a, a gentle pull on the waist to pull her closer, and just a, you know, they did mention on a. They are expecting us to have, you know, playmates for their children. Yeah. It gives her one of those looks, like a. You know, it's a sly little look. Wait, Brother Grim says y'all. I don't know if that's all of it. He us. says we're he says we're muted, George. George is fiddling with things. It's worse, frozen. All of us? Nah, I can hear you. Oh wait, no, Minky can Minky can still hear us. I still see us on the stream. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Oh, okay. Sure. Never mind, I'll keep I'll keep Maybe flirting. Maybe you then. do a little refresh, Brother Grim. Thank you, chat. Um We're, we're gonna keep flirting then while George is not here. Why don't we we should we should go Maybe, maybe it's time we go back and visit and we can meet them. We need to meet all of them. Meet and, their kids, yeah. And we should, she's like kind of setting the letter from spring aside. She's like, we should go check on Lauren. We and can tell, go see Lauren. Tell her how our like. tree has grown. Yeah, sure, of course. Um, since he has pulled you in close. I assume you're still holding the spring letter, yes? Um, I think she made- well, if she took the other letter to read, she probably kind of, like, set it aside. Like, she's not- she's trying to be subtle, so she's not gonna, like, stuff it behind her back, so it's okay. technically, like, visible. He's not gonna- he's not gonna pry into your mail, um, but just kind of letter from your father? Or... No, um, an old friend. Hmm, someone from Le Red Lurch. Yeah, someone who used to pass through the town. Hmm, that makes sense. Never got the chance to meet them, but I think he would have really liked them. I don't know, I don't like many people. I know. <laughs> it's like a select few I like, so. Maybe we'll see them too if we, if we go back home? I mean, we haven't seen my dad in a while, too. Hmm. 
Sure, if they're there, I'd love to meet them. Any friend of yours is someone I'm sure I'd enjoy. You will. Why do you say it like that? Jeez. <laughs> they, um... So ominous. <laughs> I don't know how to put this. They, uh... Share your appetite? Appetite? <laughs> I don't know how to say <laughs> Never mind. Anyways, you'll... you'll oh, what? Meet them in some way. With that, I... <laughs> I think we fade to black as Dante and Nyssa... Oh, right here? <laughs> right here? Yeah. Make kitchen? plans to possibly Fine. visit their friends off in Red Larch. Oh, they make plans. Sure, that's what we're doing if we're fading to black. Sure. There's sure. different plans to be made. <laughs> And I think that brings our little epilogue to a close. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this. I know we kind of talked about this as the wedding of Nissa and Dante, which we did go through, but we also want to see what does that happy ever after look like? What do the two of them do? They're living brand new lives. Uh, they are facing new challenges, uh, finding new success, but through it all, they have each other. And I think that's all that any of us can hope for. So uh, thank you all for watching. It's been great to have you all with us uh, throughout Wait, all of this. Can I do it? Yeah. <laughs> Look, it's a fucking heart. <laughs> it's an ugly heart, but it's ours. It's, <laughs> but it's theirs. <laughs> it's our heart. Oh no, thank hello, you the writing rain. party. We just finished our happy ending. Hi guys. Not the. <laughs> Hello. We're we're end we're ending, but you know, stick around for the end. We'll 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 forward the love on. Uh, real quick. Uh, before I forget, what was the name of that tree again? Mirin. Mirin. That's right. What do you need it for, George? Uh, you guys say. Tree. Uh, goodbye. Uh, to Mirin as you head off and each face your days. Uh, making plans to possibly leave Waterdeep maybe forever? Maybe just to see some friends? I guess that's up for yeah. debate on how long We're that's going babies. to be. Um, and maybe one day we'll check in on Dante and Nissa again and see what they're up to. But for maybe now, we'll see them again. that is our conclusion of our story tonight. Uh, be sure to be here tomorrow. We have uh, Blades in the Dark, uh, which is... is uh, is it back? You know, let me double check. I don't think Blades is actually back tomorrow, George. Don't lie to the audience. Blades is oh, not no. back tomorrow. Blades uh, is not back. We will be here Heartbreak. Thursday for Grim rock is... and roll play. Uh, yeah. It's, it's... And we will be here Friday for a very meaty episode of uh, Grim Domains. So <laughs> thank you all for watching. Thank you for the donations. It helps us get more art. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, thank you. looking forward to one day checking in on these two lovebirds and seeing what they're up to. And thank you, Momo, for these art blessings. And Not thank you, Hannah, art for and the Hannah, yeah, for the background. awesome background. Thank you, Hanny. Thank you for uh, our house, Hannah. Yes, this Hannah, wonderful dream house. home that they have. I mean, this place in Waterdeep, that's 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 a steal. That's a steal. I'm that's kind no, of no thank you for the neighbor, but thanks for the house. Hannah. Well, that's not really your fault. I know it's George's fault. But... Hannah, our house is kind of... <laughs> no! I don't like that, but no! our, our house is kind of... Maybe we're living large in Waterdeep with this fucking oh, house, dude. Yeah, I'm like, this is like, are you sure you want to leave? <laughs> are you sure you want to leave? We kind of have like a we steal of a house. Deal. I we got the... persuaded that realtors... Dude, we got the house when the like... The, you know, the, the, the market was down. Really yeah. the, the market was down. <laughs> the yeah. water deep well, housing. Dante, I think, sweet talked your neighbor and was able to get a good deal. So, oh, oh who's the charisma role? Just wore, I just wore a low cut shirt and she was into it. Yeah, I made there you scones. Go. I made muffins. My, well, my man titties were out. This has been a wonderful night. Again, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, leave us comments uh, and follow us on uh, Twitch, YouTube at MagiRPG, uh, or you can join our Discord and talk to us there. Uh, we're always sharing fan art with each other, uh, and we love it when we get fan art from fans and stuff like that. Oh my uh, god, yes we uh, do. And if we ever make plans to do anything with Dante and Nissa again, you will hear from about it first on our Discord. Oh, you'll, so, oh, you'll hear about it. I won't shut up about it. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Uh, 
Bye, all. Good night. Good night, everybody.